do you like fishing? Well, I hope you really like fishing, because you're about to see all the different ways you can catch the most ridiculous fish in the universe, and probably a lot of jokes about going really deep. I judge the quality of a fish tank by how many fish it can physically hold. So in theory, a 480 liter fish tank can hold 480 liters of fish. Having trouble coming up with an ironic name for the fish tank. So far so good, if we only have water to take care of, we're gonna do just fine. Unfortunately for reality though, we have access to all sorts of fish. Like the bluegrass guppy. Looks pretty happy, doesn't it? Nothing to worry about yet, it lives a stress-free life. So let's see what we can do to fix that. A hopefully functioning sea mine would probably add a lot to this barren fish tank. Now we just wait for something to touch it. Carrot slices? Cucumbers. I didn't realize I actually had to take care of the fish. Some of these actually do something. Increases surface agitation. Not unlike myself. So let's increase the surface agitation by as much as we can. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. I figured out the controls. Good news for the surface agitation. Is it weird that I like the rubber ducks better than I like the fish? You could admit it. That's pretty weird. But also, our lonesome hero needs a friend. And since we already have a blue fish, let's go with something pink. Hi there. Welcome. You like surface agitation? Because I know some ducks that do. We can change the backdrop. That's something for all of you out there. I don't care about the fish, but that gives us something to look at. You think if I put enough oxygen regulators in there, the fish would start to breathe air? And I've broken something already, so now we need to look at an exclamation mark for this entire journey. Checking on, on our original fish. It seems pretty good overall, strangely. Its health is very high. That's probably because it hasn't wandered into the sea mine yet, which probably isn't going to explode, but I really need to explore that. So what we're going to do is uh, add a few fish somewhere in the tank, and then lower the water level ever so gently down to about the mine site. That way they'll surely hit that. This is exactly what I envisioned when I decided to build a fish tank today. To the surprise of nobody, the mines aren't real. Also, I found out the lowest you can put the water level, and that's where it already was. But the fish have more than enough space. But if we can't put the water any lower, let's make the land a little bit higher. We're gonna have a little island in the center. Fish don't need that much space anyways. I mean, I'm pretty sure they don't even have brains. <coughs> Thoughts on that, my wandering zebra? Health is still fine, energy's up there, oxygen? Not so great, but it's a fish that lives in water, so how bad could that be? I mean, if my life was as difficult as swimming around in a pond full of ducks, I would be pretty happy. This bar has gone red for some reason. Apparently there's not enough oxygen, but to be honest, the tank is like 95% oxygen. We probably just need more fish to help kind of balance things out. Let's try skeleton fish. I wonder how many of these are going to land on the island. Well, you know what? They're maybe not super alive anyway, or maybe they are. Speaking of landing on the island, what if we make a pond up here, like a volcano? Just gotta kind of, uh, raise up some of the middle? And then lower a little spot in the center of it. We'll strike oil eventually. I see water! This is gonna work! We just need to get a fish in there somehow. The trick, when you have a lack of accuracy, is just go big with numbers. We'll spot enough fish all over the place, one of them should eventually land in a volcano. Oh, I think we got one! Yeah, it's gonna be a lonely fish. But to be honest, it might be the luckiest of all of the fish. What are you guys doing that makes such a mess? If we pick a darker color, most of that will just blend right in. But I don't really like the way the volcano looks when it's brown. So I'm going to throw some cheese at them while I figure out what we're going to do next. Nothing looks as good as the sand. Unfortunately, the sand is getting dirtier and dirtier. So either I need to fix this or just live with it. How's our VIP doing though? He's doing all right. Not a lot of space to swim, but he's got water. You know what? I bet some plants would help with the oxygen level. Like whatever this thing is, converts waste to nutrients. I bet this tank is like 94% waste at this point, so we need lots of these. I don't really know if they need to be like in the water or not, but uh, at the same time, I don't really have a lot of water, so we're just going to kind of stick these everywhere and hope that they work eventually. We'll even give one to the little fish in a volcano. There we go. Things should be all better now. Maybe just one of the leafy green kind just to make sure the fish have everything they could possibly need. You know, for a fish made out of skeletons, it has a lot of needs. It's stressed out by my ducks? The lack of oxygen and population problem I understand, but the ducks? That's just unfair. I worked hard to put those in there. Could be all that surface agitation, but if they're gonna whine about something, we're just gonna have to teach them to deal with that. I got a duck in a volcano. I don't know if that's good or bad. All right, well, let's put the water level back up. Let everything float to the surface and give all the fish a moment to breathe. I also didn't really realize you could put other things in that oxygenate and do probably other useful things like increases nutrients. Dissolvable oxygen? I had no idea that was a thing. It's a good thing I have an auto clicker installed. 
we can oxygenate the life out of these fish. Because we don't have time to wait, we need results right now. Those fish need their oxygen. Okay, these ones need more CO2. The population, we're actually kind of working on that, but their stress level has gone down. So we have dissolvable CO2 as well. So we're going to auto-click some of those for a second. Once we see it start to fill up most of the tank, we'll maybe let off the gas a little bit. Also, I'm not really sure how many of these I need to fix every individual fish, so we'll go for like a 100 to 1 ratio. So you want CO2, do ya? Mm, the level's still pretty high. Maybe there was too much CO2 to begin with. I never really considered that. I've managed to turn the tank into bubbles. And this is probably going to surprise some of you, but this is the first fish tank I've ever built. If you'll direct your eyes to the top of the screen, you'll see that we actually have 96% oxygen, 100% CO2, and 70% nutrients, so the fish should be thriving. The problem this entire time might have been that we were looking at the wrong fish. We just need to find ones that are a little more easygoing, like perhaps these ones. Well, the CO2 is probably still a problem, but that's because it's at, you know, 100%. Other than that, it's not bad. When some of them die off, it'll be pretty much the happiest fish there ever was. If we drop a sword, does it just drop into the water? Oh, we actually have to place it. I was kind of hoping we could skewer a fish potentially by dropping swords into the fish tank, but I guess the game doesn't want me to do that or something. I don't know. And they haven't even started on the cheese yet. They might want to get started on because it's going to leave a lot of waste. And it's good nutrition, so they have no reason not to touch that. Never mind, they're on it. Good news though, it'll let me rotate the sword once I place it, which is very useful for me, but we're going to go ahead and get rid of that altogether. The one thing I don't need in this fish tank is an item that has no actual use. Everything here has been meticulously placed and designed. It all has a purpose. All for the sake of creating the perfect aquarium. At what point do you think the ducks will start to overflow and fall onto the ground? That is a very good question that we just need an answer to. I kind of get the feeling that like the parameters of the tank go all the way up into the sky so nothing can really escape that boundary because that one in particular would have just sailed away. This is great though, the ducks are actually forcing their way downwards. I thought it was going to have to lower the water to make them go to the fish. No, nope, we've made some escape. They've actually jumped out and there's water all around apparently. Not entirely sure how this works. The ducks are hopping out like popcorn so uh, we'll see how much of this the game's willing to put up with right now. Spoiler alert, it's a lot. Did some of our fish get out? I think we pushed some of our fish out of the tank. Uh, are these ghost fish? Are we being haunted by the fish that I didn't take care of? Well, at least this way they're easier to take care of. I don't know what their problem is. I gave them lots of ducks. What do you think happens if we lower the water level now? Oh, this isn't going to be good. All the ducks float down. Interesting. Then what happens if we bring it back up in a hurry? Hmm, the ducks are a little bit slow to react. That probably just means we need more of them. We do kind of get a duck explosion because I think they're spawning in the middle of that mass. I've made more of a volcano than I have a fish tank. And I have no regrets whatsoever at this moment. The game is still going pretty strong. We've put a lot of ducks into this world and so far not really a lot of complaints. Even some of the fish are still alive. They're not the happiest fish in the world, but they're probably happier than most of us would have expected them to be by now. Whatever, they've got cheese, they'll be fine. Uh, back to my duck adventure. I'm just gonna leave this here for a little while. I think we're finally starting to see a drop in the frame rate. And that's really about the only thing we can see at this point. Legend has it there used to be a fish tank here. And if you're wondering why the world has a shortage of yellow rubber these days, you need look no further than this thing. But we're not done yet. The game is still okay. It's not loving it, but it's still running. I feel sorry for whoever has to clean this up. You think there's still any fish alive in there? I will try and zoom in to find them, but I'm not optimistic I'll be able to get in there. I'm being blocked by a wall of yellow rubber. I think I see some signs of life. They're moving at like one frame per second, but we got some life still. How happy are they? Not particularly, but their health actually is only halfway down. So clearly I'm so good at doing fish things that even when I try and kill them with rubber ducks, they still thrive. When you look from underneath, we have what's called art. Hmm, it's not bad, but it's not great at the same time. Needs more rubber as soon as I figure out where we just went. What just happened? We pressed the reset camera button and it mm, puts us on a roller coaster. Okay, let's maybe unreset this camera, please, because I don't know what's happening, but I need to get back to my duck thing. Uh, uh-huh. Yeah, this is exactly what I wanted. If we could maybe stop this from happening now, I would feel much, much better. The game at this point is basically a slideshow. Why are those white? What happened to those? Uh, do we make ghost ducks? Because I'm okay with that. I'm just surprised. Managed to bone the game up pretty quickly though. I'm kind of impressed, but also disappointed. I was hoping we could do a little more with this. When in doubt, just add more ducks. 
Best of luck to whatever fish remain alive somewhere down in that mess. Today we've got 3.4 million dollars and too much time in our hands. But I probably need to level up more still so we're gonna try and catch a Begu and a Tetra. The Tetra swim in large schools covering a large swath of the sea as they evade the belligerent Bagu. And the Bagu looks like this. They can be very far from shore but also inland to hunt smaller fish. So we're just going to randomly cast until we find one of these. I had an opportunity to take one of the redfish, uh, which we're actually going to keep because those are somewhat valuable. Then we're going to keep looking. I actually think those are uh, tetra, which is weird because I don't think I've ever seen them before and they just happen to show up on like my second cast. Got to get a little bit ahead and down we go. Did they turn around? Where'd they go? I don't, I don't know where they went. So they're clearly going to be very annoying to find uh, because I saw them for a second and then they disappeared. I think because they turned around. But this looks like the Bagu thing I'm trying to catch also. So we're going to see if we can get one of these idiots. Uh, my plan was slightly spoiled. I caught a puffer fish to use his bait and then a swordfish stabbed it. We're also bringing a third guy along for a ride. So that's fine. Uh, so there's 180 grand to get in the boat. And then I saw those other fish somewhere below me. At least they were for a second. They might have disappeared again. Okay, this might work out good because those guys are already here. So all we got to do is track them down one more time. They seem very aggressive. They show up out of nowhere. And then as soon as I actually have the bait I need to catch them, they disappear entirely. Okay, I accidentally hooked the mustard fish, but the tetras are right below me. So what we're going to do is throw the mustard fish in the boat, then catch a tetra. Just kidding, I've caught one of these now. This is a tappy, which will use his bait. Okay, finally ran into the school of these guys. Hopefully this is a tetra. Yup, it sure is. $4,800, quest complete. Now we just need one of the big green morons. So we gotta work our way back up the bait and hope to find them again. There are a few kind of right below me right now. So if I could just get bigger bait, we would absolutely catch it. I did just catch a snoutfish for $34,000, but we're gonna use it as bait. And then we're just gonna cruise through the ocean until the big green moron shows up to bite this. Cause they're very hard to find. I don't think they're ever staying in one area. They're always on the move. Oh, wait, wait bite it. Please tell me this is what I need. It is. It's only worth $16,000. Get in the boat. So these five fish were worth $255,000, but I mostly just wanted the new quests. So we need a conga and a lemon back. And yes, we still need a dragon, but I can't quite catch a dragon yet. But I only need one more quest to unlock sonar. So the conga hangs out amongst the coral and the lemon back hides in the deepest, most distant caves. So that sounds very convenient to find. I'm going to start with the one near the coral because that's easy. Pretty sure there's some coral somewhere somewhere somewhat nearby. Is this what I need? That looks kind of like the same shape. So I'm not actually sure what this is. I don't really remember if I've caught one of these or not. The other one seems very disturbed by this, but he can come too if he wants. This is a torby, which is worth $100,000. Get in the boat. That was very valuable for such a random fish. Okay, they didn't want me to catch that one very much. Also accidentally hooked one of these now. This is, oh, it's only a trillo. Never mind. I thought it was exciting. I don't exactly remember where the coral was, but I know it's somewhere kind of in this neighborhood. And I caught this thing again. And since this is only worth $10,000, we're gonna turn it into bait. Okay, it was a little too big to turn into bait. What about you? Do you want to bite my thing? I do think that kind of gave me an answer as to how to catch that other fish though. We got to let its friend go and then it uh, kind of swims by itself for a minute. Okay, I found the coral and as soon as I did, I think I caught the thing I need to catch. Whatever the case, we're taking one of these things. And that's a conga. $8,800, get in the boat. And that means we unlocked sonar for $125,000. So we're going to take that because I think that's going to help me explore the caves. Yeah, that's... Okay, we're going to take this, but that's going to help me... Uh see what kind of fish are around, but also explore the caves better because you get lost very quickly down there. $9,000, I'll take it. Before exploring the caves, we're going to unlock a new quest. So next we need to catch a stalker and we're going to sell these for $130,000. We're up to $3.7 million. The stalker is an odd creature shunned by most. They follow the most powerful fish they can find, simply hoping to be safe. In other words, I have no idea where to find that. So we're going to focus on this other one. So remember, we're looking for a fish that looks like this in the deepest, most distant caves. So we're as far out as we can go just for fun. I'm going to use a rocket to launch way out here just to see if there's anything interesting hiding out here. Uh, there's one of those. Those are boring. These are also boring. Why doesn't my sonar work? Oh. Well, I guess we got one of these now. And that's not the end of the world because that's a piercer worth 80 grand. Does the sonar not work with the light bulb? 
I think the sonar doesn't work with the light bulb. So that doesn't really help me that much. Or maybe I'm just too far out. Whatever the case, I guess we're just kind of going in blind to try and find whatever's down in the caverns. Okay, the sonar actually disappears even when you get super deep anyways, so it's not gonna help us in the caves. We need the better sonar. So this really is about the deepest furthest cavern. So what we're looking for has gotta be hiding somewhere in here and I've already forgotten what it looks like. So we're just gonna guess and pretty much go for the first thing we find. And I just lost my bait to this guy. Uh, I think a stalker just swam by, which definitely sounds weird when I say that out loud, but I'm pretty sure I recognize the shape of its tail as the fish I'm looking for. Uh, I just don't know where it went. So far, no luck. Just wandering around the caves and my light bulb has eight seconds left. So I'm gonna hook you just for the... never mind. I also just realized that the stalker apparently follows the strongest fish around. The strongest fish is probably the dragon. Dragon doesn't like sonar, so if we turn the sonar off, we might be able to find the dragon and then the fish following it around. So the dragon is here again, uh, so we just need to find out if my theory is correct and the stalker is around. Because I am pretty sure that I did see it somewhere in this area, but it's a little bit hard to tell because all of the ocean looks the same. I've been searching for quite a while, cannot find the fish I'm looking for. I feel like I found every other fish imaginable though, so you know, that's exciting. But we do have the quest to catch the dragon, who is a uh, vivid and highly sensitive to high frequency sound waves so the sonar doesn't work. Now as I understand it what you need to do with the dragon is lure it all the way down here to this guy who is a mamo uh, guards its nest in the caverns under the coral basin. I wonder if I could actually catch that. I'm gonna throw a mega hook on and try. Uh, that way I don't need to work my way up the bait chain. It should be able to just bite this if I can catch it. And then I've got to find it again somewhere down here. I think I know roughly where it is. That wasn't as painful as I thought and it just took the bait and ran. What I need is its egg. So regular large bait and it just breaks the hook off. See, I found the other fish too. It is near the dragon. I saw it for a second, bite me. Cause I recognize the round shape of its tail. This is the one I'm looking for. I think I just need slightly bigger bait. But now at least I know where this one is. Now I just need to get it to bite and that had to be really close but it's hard to see past the dragon sometimes. I might need to put more like emphasis on my lure so the fish can eat it from further away because I gotta get right in their face right now to make them bite things. And this one just might not be interested at all in what I have going on currently but it's hard to tell because the dragon keeps blocking my view every time I'm close. So right now I'm gonna add glitter bait. All fish are more attracted to your lure and it tells me I'm not allowed to do that because I also have dull bait. I'm not really sure what it meant by that but we're gonna get rid of stealth bait for now. All fish are less attracted to your lure. That should hopefully make it a little more agreeable. So now it doesn't want to bite it still. I don't know what it's gonna take to make it bite this uh hook. Okay. Okay, well what we can do is try and catch the dragon for the time being because it's probably going to be the easier of the two to catch because I think I know how to catch the dragon. I don't know how to catch the other fish. What we need to do is lure him around. I've increased my diving speed and my reel speed so that I can outmaneuver him. I might need to do go a little further with this because he's a hungry fish. What we need to do is lure him into this cavern where he's going to uh, scare that fish away. We're going to catch the egg and then the dragon bites the egg. I should not have gotten away with that first try. I thought that was going to be a very painful process. That's why I'd been ignoring it it this entire time but that's the dragon and hopefully his idiot friend is more vulnerable now we're gonna catch him too but yes i did not expect to do that first try i legitimately thought that was probably gonna take me an hour but i'm not gonna complain i pulled the dra the dragon out of the ocean and he's worth i think 1.5 million Mythic hats can now be purchased. I don't know what a mythic hat is, but you get in the boat. I probably also now need to change my rod back to what it was because I don't know how the fish are going to react to this one and I don't know where my other idiot fish friend went. Because normally if we sink the line right here, we'll see him after not more than a few seconds. So I think now that the dragon is gone, so is he because he's looking for protection. On my way back into shore, look who showed up. It's exactly the fish I want. I just have no idea how to get him now that he's over there. Can I like, oh wait. Wait, what's he doing? I don't, I don't know what's wrong with this fish. I think I broke him. Unless he's there because the dragon is in the boat and he's following the dragon around. Well, he stole my bait because it wasn't big enough and now he seems to be gone again. So that's whatever. I'll worry about that idiot later. Never mind, he's back again. So what I'm going to do is get some bait that he can actually bite and then try and catch him. There's, yep, you'll work. Now all I should have to do is cast and now we got the stalker. 26,000, get in the boat. We're gonna be pretty rich after all this. Plus I kinda wanna see what the mythic hats are all about. So we're gonna sell all this for $2 million. New quest. We need to catch a penny fin. Uh... Okay, and then we also need to catch a yin. So the only mythic hat we've even seen so far is the tinkerer. 
stackable route upgrades are practically free, and Mythic is obviously better than Legendary. So I don't really know where to find a Penny Fin, but eventually we will. I'm pretty sure I know where the Yin is, I just don't want to go through the effort to catch it at this moment. But also since it's nighttime now, let's go out as far as we can to see if there's any new night fish to be caught. Okay, let's see if there's anything magical hiding out here. So far it's mostly just more of the same annoying fish. But that's okay, we'll find something new eventually. I also kind of wonder if we can catch this guy now that his egg is gone. Because we couldn't really catch him before. Uh, so I think I might try. I don't know what his problem is now. I guess we took his egg, so there's that. But what he's got to understand is that I really wanted to catch a dragon, so I was willing to sacrifice everything to do it. And we're gonna go with the Mega Super Hook because I've got 5.5 million dollars to burn anyways and I need to spend it on something. And he's just gone now. I accidentally caught... Is that a trap door below me? I just realized that's like a... I broke the line, but I think this is something you can looks like open at some point. So the next fish on my quest list is the penny fin. They live in the coral reef. Which is... Why is he at the surface? Okay, well he was at the surface for a second. Not sure why. Uh, anyways, we're not really finding anything different at night. So we're going to skip back to day so I can find uh, the coral reef again. I also don't think I've caught one of these yet. So I'm going to catch one of these. In a perfect world, this would be what I'm looking for. But I think this is too big. I'm pretty sure the penny fin is a small fish. This is a large. This is in fact Santu. $16,000 get in the boat. And it's daytime now anyway so I didn't have to go back to shore. While looking for the coral reef again I caught Nemo. There it is. Clownfish worth $40,000 get in the boat. And I just realized my sonar can actually be helping me uh, find the reef which is actually right below me now. Or close enough. Now we just need to find the right fish out of this mess which I think actually might be this one. Nope this is a hue worth $22,000. So what we're looking for looks like this. It's going to be hard to pick it out of the crowd so we're just going to keep catching fish until we find the one we need. It's got to be in there somewhere. So we're just going to keep grabbing until we get it. But I think that's a lionfish down there. They only eat live bait. So it's nighttime again already. We're going to try and catch a lionfish with live bait. After, oh, I wanted to catch whatever that was. All right, well, we're going to go back and turn it into daytime because I don't want to deal with a storm. I'm sure there's probably some significance to a storm and rare fish. I can't be bothered right now. And I can use the sonar for finding hats and all sorts of things. But it is pretty handy just to see the amount of fish down there. Look at them all swarm in because it's daytime now. Okay, so if we don't catch the fish we need, we're gonna use... Uh, is this the one we need? They all look the same, I can't tell. Ooh, a hat. This is a pink kisser. It's gonna get in the boat. We're gonna catch that hat and then we're gonna catch whatever else is down there. Hopefully this hat is something... Uh, plus two max active quests available. I'm gonna keep my explorer hat. Is this the one? This is the one. I was gonna say, they all look the same. It's very hard to figure out which one you need, but I still want one of the lionfish. Who don't seem to be here anymore. Wait, I lied. They're still here. So we're gonna do that and then we get... Wait, you eat live bait. Maybe we need a bigger hook. There we go. We just needed the bigger hook. Worth 8,700, but it's one for my collection. So we're gonna go activate another quest, but we might try and catch the yin next. I'm pretty sure I know where that is. The few fish I just had were worth $35,000. We need to catch a yin and a yang. And I'm pretty sure uh if we can weave our way wow somehow through all of that uh through all of that we're gonna keep going down into the caves below past the many strange fish and i'm pretty sure these are what we need we need to lure these to other fish that are similar these are yin the other ones are yang uh as soon as they want to actually come and see me we will lure them where they need to go we just can't get too far away from them but we also need them to not get close enough to actually steal the bait either but I'm assuming uh, whoop, their friends are over here somewhere because I don't know where else they would be. So they're just going to keep coming in this direction. This is going to get super annoying to do. I already hate this. But for the amount of effort these take, this should be worth my time. I just hope it's not too much further to go because this is not super easy to do. Those yellowfish might be new. I might have already gone past it. I'm just down in the caverns. I have no idea what's around. Is that saying it wants to be caught now? What's it, what's it freaking out about? I didn't see its friend yet, so I don't know. Okay, no, it's still following us. And I hit a dead end. Now that I think about it, I don't think this actually can bite my lure until it finds the other fish anyway, so I don't have to work at avoiding it. I just need to kind of find its friend. Okay, one thing I'm going to change is taking off one diving lure. Then I think I'm going to add a single 
single stealth bait. That way I can, you know, more easily navigate around without having everything still my lure. Now I've got two and a half minutes to get this fish to where it's going. But I've got a pretty good idea now of where it does need to go to meet its friends. Oh good, it just decided to leave me, but at least I got a hat out of the deal. That would make my boat hold eight extra fish, which I really don't want. So let's try this again, maybe not letting uh, Ying here get so far away because it seems to get lost quickly because it's stupid. Unless it just doesn't like the surface very much. So maybe we need to keep low down to the ground. That maybe is the problem. As soon as you get to the surface, it goes away. So these are the fish. Uh, they were supposed to be bringing the other ones too. So I know where to find them now. But if I bring one all the way back to the left, are the other ones going to be gone now? We were so close before. Here's the annoying yellow fish. I don't want to talk about what happened. Anyways, we restarted. So now the fish have all respawned and I'm going to drag these ones all the way over because we're already passing some of the annoying yellow fish. So we're going to swoop around them. Then we got to get back to the right because I think at this point we're actually pretty close. It's just, again, a little bit hard to say because I don't really know where I am. I'm pretty sure they're going to be somewhere right in this neighborhood. Or I might have to do this the other way around where I bring the other fish to these ones. I scared the fish away moments before I found the ones I actually need. But since we're over here, let's bring these fish back to the originals then. And this is one of the reasons I avoided trying to catch these for so long because it's super annoying to do. And the fish got bored already. So we're back to doing it the other way around. Okay, I know I'm pretty close at this point. I just got to find them. They're a little bit up and to the right somewhere. The trick is if I go too far up, this fish is gonna run away but oh whoa i found them yeah you guys make friends someone bite my hook now please you guys good bite it yeah we got one of these at least and it would be great if the other one would also let me catch it as soon as we got to the surface uh i'm gonna use the radar to avoid the other fish so this thing doesn't get eaten i worked very hard for this and i'm not gonna lose it now are they after me i think we're good there we go whatever that is get in the boat so now let's do it the other way around which is a little harder because it's harder to navigate the cave system this direction okay i think i've got both morons following me this time so as long as we can actually make it to where we're going i think we'll be okay i just got to be sure not to go too quickly for these because if i get too far away they lose interest and then there is a cave shark somewhere here that's pretty aggressive so i need to watch out for that as well uh i don't know if we're going left or up here I might have gone the wrong way. Nope, we're good. This is very stressful and annoying, but I'm pretty sure I'm getting close because I think it's right here. Please don't eat that. Please don't eat that. Yeah, that's right. You stay away. Nope, don't eat that. Don't. Are we good? Are we good? Are the fish good? No, he ate the bait. We got that close and he ate the... I'm giving up on that fish. We're not catching that fish ever. We get all the way there and the other fish has to ruin it for me. So we're going to feed him a bomb. Uh, there's two annoying fish left. Actually, we've got another one of these things right here too. If I wanted to catch it, all I'd have to do is attach a mega hook and get it to bite. We're only going to make a $50,000 profit now, but that's still a $50,000 profit. And I would assume some pretty decent experience. So there's some kind of an achievement, uh, I think probably for overfishing the Torby. Anyways, we need to catch a Luafin, which wanders the distant sea, happily enjoying the company of her mate. I think that's one of the two that we saw earlier that are like pink and purple. Uh, found them. I was actually looking for a different fish at the moment. I have also caught whatever this is. Well, we got half of this. This is an angle, which I've turned into another fish, which I'm going to try and... Well, hopefully this is the right one of the two. This is a Luafin for 12,000. What are those things? Have we seen these before? What are you? Bite my hook. A $50,000 hook, I might add. So this is going to be an expensive little fish. Nar, worth $3,000. All right, well, new light bulb and mega hook, whatever. Are you a new fish? What are you? Well, we're going to bring this one to the surface. It's popular with the other fish, apparently. They all want to eat it. It seems to glow by itself too, which is interesting. This is a glacier worth 45000 Get in the boat. We'll catch Yang next time. We're going to turn this old man into a billionaire today with fish. Though I don't know why we'd want to turn him into a billionaire. He looks like he's living the good life. Basically, we need to catch more fish, upgrade more stuff to make more money. We're currently making $3.62 a second and $3.74 per click. So the faster I click, the faster he fishes, the more fish we catch. The only problem we're going to run into is running out of fish in the ocean at this rate. So far, I've caught these two morons. We need to work our way through all 36 fish, which is going to be a lot plus the treasure. In order to get there, we can upgrade our stuff along the way. This is going to give us an upgrade of 20% per click and 15%, uh, 15 cents idle cash at $248 per upgrade, though it's pretty expensive. But those are the upgrades that are going to add up. $4.27 a second, uh, $8.20 per click, and we have money raining from the sky, just like in real life. And when this
this happens we need to click faster than the worm and then we catch a fish which was the orange one we didn't get to see it you just have to take the game's word for it oh and when the bubbles happen you also want to click the bubbles because that's how you get your multiplier in the bottom left i remember the last time i went fishing i also made twenty thousand dollars sitting on the dock for five minutes okay we're gonna go back and fix our fishing rod up a little bit uh we're just using a very basic rod right now obviously so we're gonna give that a whole bunch more upgrades every one of these gives us an extra five cents idle cash and ten cents per click and we're gonna use an auto clicker on this because i don't have time for all that level 300 do you want to cheat on your taxes well that's in green uh fraud has been proven to be profitable uh my idle income is going by 1.5 dollars okay great we earned an extra dollar fifty, and all we had to do was risk ten years in jail. And this guy clearly is hallucinating or something. This is not how you fish, or maybe it is, and that's why he's the only one to make so much money doing it. Another fun option: Do you want to employ your employees illegally without a contract of employment? Yes. The tax office has detected the fraud payment, financially penalized three thousand dollars. Yes, I've definitely learned my lesson, and will never do that again. Now excuse me while I distract myself with some bubbles. We've caught the next fish right in time for our next illegal choice. Do you want to try out the innovative methods of fishing? They were not tested, yes. The experiment turned out to be a huge success, plus two catched fishes. We even caught a squid. That's probably not legal. And it's probably in danger, but this guy, he doesn't give a damn. He's gonna do anything it takes to make that money. Uh, there is money falling from the sky. Uh, speaking of which, we should probably use some upgrades again. A good fishing hook. $272 in upgrades, so we're gonna get this many. We're up to $50 a second. $50 a second fishing. I know a lot of people that would take that deal. It's time to make your business development plan. What do you want to focus on? Idle or clicking? Idle. Plus 10 idle gain. $63 a second. Listen, my business plan is to do this to the water. I'm trying to hurt the water or something. I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing. I don't, don't know why he's here. I don't know what the bird is doing behind me. I'm just having a really good day. We quickly made another $30,000. Uh, make that $35,000 as we do while fishing on the dock. So we're going to upgrade our bait at uh, $1,500 per click to start. That's going to add up quickly, but that's probably going to be worth it eventually. $84 a second. 120 per click. The look of determination never leaves leaves this man's face. He is not giving up for anything. Here's another fish. We're undefeated against the fish so far. We're all the way up to this big yellow idiot. I hear money falling from the sky. I don't- this guy's so lucky. That's never happened to me once in real life and he's at it four times in like 20 minutes. There's a lot of upgrades to get through, most of which are locked. There's also upgrades over here that I should be paying more attention to. A mysterious chest and in it a huge amount of valuables. A thousand dollars? I'll open a huge chest of valuables for a thousand dollars. What did that give me? Did it give me money? Oh, is it this? Oh, two times gain or $350,000. I want two times gain. That's going to add up to way more. And naturally, when you come into large amounts of money, do you want to invest $250,000 in employee training? The third upgrade of workers will be raised to level three. Yes. Wait. The employees are very happy with the training. They should be for that kind of money. I think I just sent them on vacation for four years. But also, what employees? I think I've been had. But, um, great. I'm sure someone enjoyed that money somewhere. Here's the next fish. We've caught it. It's a big purple googly-eyed fish. So, do we want some rum? $5,000. We'll upgrade. Upgrade. This upgrade reduces prices in the shop. I know how to read, I swear. Uh, this upgrade increases the profit multiplier obtained from water balls. Yes, that's actually quite cheap. Okay, and this pocket watch upgrades increase the maximum day of idle profit by one. I don't really know what that means, but I did it. Okay, I wanted to go back to clicking for a sec. We still have $280,000. The best improvement, profits grow faster. Yes, please. This upgrade will increase your profit multiplier by 2%. Your profits grow 2% faster times that many. So we need to reach two and a half dollar, two point five dollars idle profit. Then I'll show you the rest of the business. I think I'm already there. Now we get employees. I think I'm doing this all backwards. As per usual, let's that's not an employee, that's me in a boat. Yeah, that's that's literally just me in a boat. Uh, these all get very expensive. Uh, I assume they're all good, so $250. You can have a few of those for sure, that's reasonable. These are $80,000, i will give you one of those. $420,000 plus 0.4% profit multiplier. Right, we need to get richer for employees. From now on, you will have a chance to get your legendary items. 
while you are not in the game. Reach $10 idle profit and I will show you how to become a millionaire. Aren't I already there? I'm at $100 idle profit. Okay, now we have a boat that doesn't really look like it would float very well. But apparently this is how we make profit. Apple, one minute, five minutes of profit. Okay. More done transports equals more unlocked transport types. That gave us $13,071. Okay, so as we unlock these, we get, uh, that was five minutes of profit. We'll work our way all the way down to 24 hours of profit for smuggling drugs. Reach $20 idle again and I will show you another part of the business. Yeah, I think I already did this. I made it to $100 per second without instruction. Find all the rats. Well, they're hiding so well. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find them all. Was that eight? I can't count. Now we get an underwater base. I feel like it's unreasonable to have an underwater base considering we've made like $200,000. I've never had an underwater base, but I think they're probably more expensive. Oh, I didn't mean to. Okay, I guess we have this now. For $100,000, I can actually just buy some of these fish if I want. So we can go all the way up to extreme fat fish or toxic crab. That's all going to get very expensive. But it's finally letting us go back to just simply catching fish like we're supposed to and here's another fish oh no there's money coming down too okay we got them both we got the money and the fish which was just a recolor of this one but since we made another uh 100 grand we're gonna spend some money right here because that's gonna take my profits way up okay i'm gonna use the auto clicker now because i'm tired of clicking we're up to 122 dollars a second and 170 per click so can we go back to this again we do the apple again that's going to give us $17,000. Uh, we could buy a basic fish if you want. That's going to get us plus 2%. So we're going to save up for that. All we need is 100 grand again. And I hear money. Okay, I made the 100 grand I need. Let's try our submarine. We're going to buy one of these. Okay, and the fish gets to swim around here. I get it now. Even a 2% increase is over $2,000 right now. There's so much money falling out of the sky. I don't know what to make of it. And just like that, I saved up another $140,000. What do we spend it on? Okay, we should really be looking at upgrades like this because this is going to give me $6 per level and $5 per level. That yeah, it makes me think I should be checking what's even further down the list. Yeah, that's going to give me $24 per click and 20 So this is the kind of stuff I need to be buying because we just doubled our income now. So now our money's going up much, much quicker. Okay, now that we saved up again, I can buy this one for $152,000. That's going to give me $60 idle cash. So that's going to give me an extra like one... 25% on top of what I'm already getting. And we're going to earn that back in no time to get another one. Plus, there's another fish. They're still not very hard to catch yet, but we're getting quite a good collection of them. Then I guess we're going to use the banana. And I think if I do this enough times, I unlock the next one. But that gave me $42,000. Then looking at the weird upgrades again, we're maybe going to try the anchor. This upgrade increases the chances of catching a fish. I think that's worth it because the fish actually do make a big difference to my profit. The ancient rune, I think I could afford, but it basically increases my profit while I'm away. So if I leave and come back, I'll make lots of money but i'm not planning on leaving you yet i'm clicking to feel alive i can't remember how much the next upgrade was but i think i'm gonna save for it i think it was in the hundreds of thousands but i do also have an auto clicker he can't really keep up with it but the profit sure can but now i have a chance to spend five hundred thousand dollars to gain one legendary item yes plus one legendary item does it do anything i don't i don't know if it does anything there's there's apparently lots of these but it just sits here. I have no idea. We're going traveling. There's an extra 45 grand. I'm going to let the auto clicker take over for a second. I want that next upgrade. Oh, the bank's offering me money. It'll give me about $6 million and I need to give back $9 million. So that's basically 50% interest. 15% of profits will be deducted for repair. I'm not taking that. Things probably still money and cheat. Yeah, not like me. Speaking of which, $646,000, I get $180 passive income. I currently get 348, so this is a 50% increase. Plus we get a new bubble multiplier at 1.4, so we are up to $650 per second. Two thirds of the way to 1,000. And if I use the auto clicker, we're making about $100,000 a second. And I have a feeling once we hit a million, something fun is going to happen. Your company consists of many employees. Do you want to risk the delay payments to your employees? No, I make lots of money. You have just lots of chance to earn extra cash. Yeah, I pull millions of dollars out of the ocean on a dock. I don't really need extra money yet. I'm officially a millionaire already, so we should probably talk to this submarine. So I want to buy more of these basic fish. Oh, they get expensive quickly. Okay, we're buying four of those. That's going to give me an extra 8%, which is still a lot. Then we're going to buy this. 
and eventually that's going to allow us to buy more other things but apparently it might be a little more well done in the second map the second employee was unlocked uh, and then we reach 40 dollars of idle profit pirates are attacking oh okay i'm being extorted by pirates we're they're gonna charge me four hundred thousand dollars yeah let me go ahead and get that for you i've just got to pull it out of the ocean it's worth it to pay you this so i don't have to look at you anymore and i lost five dollars of idle game this is surprisingly complicated i just wanted to click on things to make numbers go up i have uh, managed to myself, myself in a, in a wonderful, wonderful way. way are you guys good over here we get 0.2 percent profit every time we click on one of these so it's adding something up top for sure but these are mostly things that are going to make a bigger difference down the road because they're fractions okay i'm just going to go back to fishing for a little bit because that's what i do best i've saved up four million dollars and of course because i did somebody wants it do you want to invest that and gain a better chance of idle fish caught mm, no what i would like is this upgrade for eight million dollars that's going to give me two thousand dollars idle cash per second that's three times what we get now. Uh, there's eight million dollars right as we catch another fish. This one was a polka dot fish, but that's not quite enough. So let's try that again. Selling different body parts of underwater creatures for profit. There's a uh, okay, cave that put us up to 4,500 per second. I guess I forgot about all the multipliers. So now we're making $4,500 per second and 5,000 per click. Then we get to enter a fishing tournament. Guess how we win? We just need to click really fast. Luckily, I have an auto clicker that's pretty good at that. Okay, auto clicker, go. Where am I clicking? What? Nothing's happening. I don't know what just happened, but our experiments worked. Uh, so we got $10 million. I don't know what happened to the fishing tournament. So we're going to try this again. I don't know. Oh, am I supposed to be clicking here? Okay, auto clicker. Got it. Since I now have $23 million at my disposal, I want to upgrade the underwater base just a little bit. Does that let us buy? Yeah, we can buy more fish. A fat typical fish. That's going to give us plus 10% multiplier for $10 million. Do you want to try bribing a tax office? How could I not? It turned out that you paid too many taxes in this year, plus $15 million. You're damn right. So now what can we buy with our fortune? We made $23 million standing on the dock fishing. I guess just more of this upgrade, huh? So we'll take a few more of those. We're up to $13,000 a second. Maybe one more. Which puts us up to sixteen, seventeen thousand dollars a second. So even as regular clicking, the money's going up. But if I use the auto clicker, we're making probably two million dollars a second plus money falling from the sky. Uh, okay, I can set the tax for the local population. They don't seem to like it uh, here. They get 0% tax because we need a higher population. Once we get like a million people living there, we'll crank the tax up. For now, I need people to land there. The appointment of police will make the inhabitants of the village less willing to strike. They don't pay taxes. We can't afford police and they won't rebel. So we could also institute a 999 year penalty, which sounds pretty cruel. That should be a good deterrent. Anyone does anything at all, especially with the money, eh, you get a thousand year sentence. On the plus side of that, there's no taxes at all, so take your pick if you want to live there. It has its perks, but it's pretty wildly dangerous at the same time. Caught another fish? I don't even care to look at this point. Oh, I get it now. When I click on this flag, this is the colony I'm in charge of. So let's see if we can save up a hundred million dollars. It really shouldn't take long. Hold on, we have a new business opportunity. There's numerous people on earth, life is priceless, but organs already have their own price list. Do you want to take part in the smuggling of slaves or organs will be yes this made a lot of people very angry it turns out the police service was involved you were caught minus 10 million dollars well that sent me back 14 seconds whatever will i do i like how i never go to jail or face real punishment i just get a fine for like four percent of my time and then go about my life to continue to do bad things whoops while i'm here death penalty there is a man and there is no man we honestly do not know what happened to the strikers they probably went on holiday yes we're sending everyone on holiday that's how you keep them happy the population is still only three it's probably a bad idea to whoops i don't know what it's clicked on plus 150 dollars idle game though as i was saying if you have an island of three people don't institute the death penalty because you're gonna kill 30 percent of your population and that's probably not a really big incentive for more people to join your island population if they're gonna die for every little thing i once slept in a cardboard box and worked 40 hours a day and enjoyed life this new generation do you want to hire children no they're stupid but i'm officially a hundred millionaire and i'm still wearing the same clothes i always have been all right, so what kind of stupid things do we buy at this point? We haven't unlocked anything new here, and I don't know what it's going to take to get there. Maximum day of idle profit. I think that means when I'm away, we can reduce shop prices by quite a bit. Do I want to invest $50 million in research and improving transport ships? Not really, because I never use this thing anyway. Maybe that was my opportunity to start moving bananas, but either way, this thing doesn't work super well. I could upgrade my submarine again for $10 million, then I can buy up to cute fish. 
This gives me plus 15% profit, which isn't really worth it yet. We need more money. Okay, I'm going to finish the fishing tournament because that might help jump me ahead to new upgrades. So we just got to start here. Got it. And while I was auto clicking, we made a bunch of money. Okay, next level of tournament. I think I could probably win this. Got it. Okay, fishing tournament level four. Okay, go. Got it. As a reward, I will raise your salary 10 times. 10 times zero equals zero. Reach $600 of idle gain. Yeah, I'm at 18,000. Thank you, though. They basically told me I can change the laws at the island, which I already do. It's not a very happy island to live on, but there's no taxes. Okay, since I don't really know what else to buy, maybe I need to max out this one before I get the next one unlocked. What is this? I'm up to $32,000 a second, and I still can't buy the shell. Maybe I just need to make enough money and then I get new options, so maybe I'll save up for a billion dollars. I've always wanted to be a billionaire in a fishing outfit. That honestly took a little bit longer than I thought it would, but we're quickly coming up at $1 billion. And no, I'm not entirely sure why I'm doing this, but I'm never entirely sure why I do anything. But we're now officially a billionaire from angrily smacking the water. I'm not really sure what to do now, so maybe we'll just max out some of these upgrades like the sea creature. That's going to cost $216 million. That's quite expensive. And it still didn't unlock the next one, so let's buy 10 levels of this guy, which is max. Then we're also going to buy this one. This is all going to add up, and it is getting pretty expensive. They should get cheaper as they go. They're higher levels, like there's more levels, but the stuff overall is cheaper. Yeah, we spent over $500 million doing this so far, $600 million now we're gonna auto click through these ones because it's nice and quick so i've definitely spent over a billion dollars on upgrades in total so far we've maxed out everything up till here and the rest is still locked but we're up to 186 thousand dollars a second 210 thousand dollars per click which is pretty good for a guy fishing do i need to do i need to do something with my idiots 20 million dollars to get a 1.7 percent profit increase which adds about $1,000 per second, so why not? Is it the submarine? Do we need better submarine technology? We could buy some strange fish. That's going to give us a 20% profit increase, which is a big one. Quarter million dollars per click, and we're clicking pretty quick. Just grabbed a bundle of money. I have no idea what they're worth these days, but I assume it scales with my income. Well, I've saved up a billion dollars again. I've caught a lot of the fish. We're starting to get into some of the exotic ones. I do want some of the big ones still, but they're going to be hard to find. So I think maybe I'll try and max out the fisherman on the left, just to make sure he's getting us lots of money i mean that is boosting our income quite a bit we're still over a billion dollars okay i'm pretty sure he's maxed out we're getting a natural two hundred fifty thousand dollars a second okay let's go ahead and upgrade this for 350 million dollars that means i can buy a board fish that's going to give me 30 percent profit for half a billion 500 million dollar upgrade was it worth it no it was not but i'm still making lots of money i mean per click basically three clicks makes me a million dollars which is more than i make in real life by quite a large margin that fish i think was the red boy here so we're definitely getting some exotics but i think the only thing left to do at this point is go like this and let it sit for a long time we'll pick it up here next time and find those upgrades casual fishing game meet your worst nightmare so far we have the option to go down and go up. So insert your mom joke because we're going down. We can go as deep as 5 meters apparently and when we bring our rod back up we have nothing. Somehow I'm managing to fail at this game despite the fact that I have two buttons to push. Oh I think we got something and we got a tackle box. And then apparently that also comes with a direct deposit of $15 which we can then use to upgrade our line length by 5 meters. And our lone hero is very happy about that so we should be able to hit 10 meters if my math is correct which should mean better treasure sounds like we got something i assume the deeper we go the better it's gonna be or we could make maybe catch nothing at all i might also need to actually react when i catch something i assumed it would just stay on the line but i don't think we're gonna be that lucky and we got a boot so i'm gonna try and be lazy and catch stuff at three meters that way i don't have to reel as far because there's another ten dollars i will make my fortune ten dollars at a time if i have to my first fish anchovy that was worth, I don't know, more. We're going to get better real speed because I'm impatient. That's much quicker. We can go all the way down to 10 meters with this kind of speed. Which catches us more boots. But look how fast it goes down. There's 5 meters and 10 meters. And we got an Arctic Salmon. It could go to Japan and back. Not anymore because it's going to die. Eventually we'll be catching fish from the core of the very earth itself. I'm going to get a better hook type which I assume means we can hook things easier and then extra line length. Now we can go down 20 meters. I mean 15 meters because I'm not stupid. And with that, we're going to catch a radio. Somehow it still works. We don't have time for music. We're busy catching fish. Uh, another anchovy. I assume deeper is better, but at this point, I'm not really sure if it makes a difference. We caught a sea sponge. Was somebody bathing there? Probably not. So with that, we're going to get extra real speed, which is much quicker again. I'm going to enjoy this. Another Arctic salmon. 
We went from 35 to 85, so that's worth $50. This guy gets no breaks. Not to use the bathroom, not to get food, not to sleep. He sits here day in, day out, making me money. Blowfish, which went from 85 to 115 for $30. And a few sea sponges later, we're up to $185. So let's get some more line length. $45, let's go for two of those. And three of those. Probably skipping over some very important stuff along the way, but I'm going straight for the bottom 30 meters. Which is going to catch us an arctic salmon that we were catching at the surface. Definitely going to need a faster reel too, because it takes a long time to pull up from 30 meters. But we got an arctic carp, which is worth considerably more. I didn't see the value before, but it's worth more. And there's a new one, ever pregnant guppy. This seems unethical. You should see the stuff I normally do. That brings us from 175 to 190, and that's just going to kind of hang out there for a while. It's actually giving birth and we're getting money for what's popping out of it. I think we're getting $2 per baby. And that's fine by me. We need more of those. Let's increase our real speed. You over there on the ground, keep up the good work. I should just leave for like six hours and let that thing spit out babies. Another carp for $60. In theory, that thing should die eventually, but I'm happy it's not. It's just going to sit there and suffer and give birth for my profit. But this extra line speed is definitely making a difference because we're already at the bottom. And we can be back at the surface in no time as soon as something bites. We got another ever pregnant guppy. So now we're going to make like $4 every few seconds. While we're at it, let's get a better hook type. I'm pretty sure that's going to mean better fish. I just need like a hundred of these things and then I can retire. Not entirely sure what the better hook does at this point because I've definitely got one and so far we haven't caught anything new yet. So for now let's take a little more line length times two. So we can go as deep as 40 meters which gives us a strange head. Is it a helmet or something? Yes, an ancient warrior dropped it through the ice a million years ago. We found our first rainbow trout, which takes us from 128 all the way up to 203. So at $75 per fish, we're going to start making some pretty good money. And we caught another ever pregnant guppy. We can clearly fit a lot of those on the ground. And before you know, we're up to about $400. So I'm going to get real speed up to four meters per second. Then a little more line length. And we can get to the bottom that much quicker now. And another new fish, anchovy from a faraway land. We're going from one 21 all the way up to 191. My conclusion currently is that the fastest way to make more money is to have faster line speed because it's eating up a lot of time going up and down still. So let's go with five meters per second. Now it's only going to take us uh nine seconds to get to the bottom or at least that's what it's supposed to take. I think it's actually faster than that in real time. $500 and 80 babies later we're able to get real speed up to six meters a second. So that means faster profit though I should have more uh of these spinning out babies. I think I caught them around 30 meters so I might try to get more and that actually worked out pretty well because those are going to add to a lot of profit especially if I but get them sooner than later. We're up to five of them now and we're catching them fairly quickly so we're gonna have a whole army of these things producing us money. It actually seems like these are the only thing we can catch if I go to about 26 meters. Never mind but we've got a lot of them. This is rapidly turning from a fishing expedition into a baby farm and I'm completely okay with that because I can just sit back and make money without having to actively fish. That popping sound is the sound of money. I suspect I maxed out how many of these I can catch now so we're gonna go back to catching regular fish for a while but not before I increase my real speed one two times at nine meters a second we can hit the bottom this fast now and the best part is even while i'm waiting for my lure to go down and up again we're still making lots of money thanks to the uh birthing fish but since i've quickly earned another thousand dollars let's get real speed up to nine meters a second now we can hit the bottom this fast which is much quicker i hardly even need to be catching fish at this point because we're making like two dollars per second but let's go a little deeper 150 dollars 165 dollars let's try 55 meters for a second that's gonna catch us a golden guppy which also gives birth to things or probably more money and after catching whatever this is i'm gonna upgrade my line speed one more time which is gonna give us an even 10 meters a second which is pretty quick a few minutes later we have 1300 dollars to spend on 11 meters per second which means we get fish to the surface this quickly so let's try a better hook for the same depth to see if anything new comes out of the hole nothing new yet but we did get our fourth golden guppy so let's take it down to 55 meters correction 60 meters because we have the original five 60 meter depth so far nothing new more golden guppies which is always nice but we're making money at a pretty good rate so let's try the advanced hook which is apparently now maxed out but hopefully we start to catch something a little better now i mean golden guppies never hurt especially when you consider how fast we're making money i thought it was impressive when we're making like a dollar per second now we're making like ten dollars per second so let's go a little deeper line length 
60 meters, we're going down 65. At some point, there's gotta be newer and more valuable fish because what's the point of spending all this time to go deeper? Well, let's make it more worth our time. Reel speed 12 meters per second for $1,500 and let's go line length 65 so we can go down to 70 now. And we can get there in a hurry. There's all the way from zero to 70. Still not finding anything new. Uh, Lots of golden guppies, which is great, making some money. Zero of 30 fish found, which is curious. So let's go reel speed 13 meters per second and then go down a little deeper. Now to hit the bottom, we're gonna do it. Probably as fast as we used to, but we're going a lot deeper now. I'm starting to wonder if I'm doing something wrong, which is weird because all I can do is press W or S to go up or down. Never mind, we just found a Sahajan shell. Must have drifted a long way. That's worth approximately hundred dollars and a walrus uh so we're gonna go from eleven hundred and forty dollars to twelve hundred and sixty so about 120 okay we're starting to catch lots of walruses which is good because if they're worth 120 each that money's gonna stack up pretty quickly so let's go even quicker 14 meters per second and that's maxed out uh we're at 15 meters per second and that's the max and somehow we're still able to find rainbow trout which is something we could find pretty much at the surface. I think the better hooks just mean the fish bite that much faster because now that I'm looking at it, they're biting very quick once we hit our depth. Once the line stops moving, they bite basically instantly. So we go all the way down, wait, they bite, back up they come. It's very quick, but we need better fish. Spent a lot of money to get down to 80 meters, so let's hope it starts to pay off. Although I won't lie to you, that baby farm is pretty amusing. Still finding more rainbow trout than anything though. Maybe I shouldn't be going all the way down to 80. There's another walrus. Let's try 77.7. .7. Lucky numbers. Nope, don't bite that. Nope, don't bite that. Wait, wait. Uh, It's going to be too hard to land it that specifically. This is pretty close though, right? We'll see what this is. A walrus. Okay, we very quickly saved up $3,300, so let's go a little more line length, which gives us another walrus. There's got to be something better down here somewhere. Also, a little more line speed would be nice at this point because it's very quick, but when you're going down 85 meters, that still eats up a lot of time. If this one isn't something new, I'm going to go down another 5 meters to hopefully find something new. So we should be able to hit 95 meters now. 90 meters. That's good enough for me. Is this going to be a new fish? Rubber Ducky, a programmer's best friend. So we're going from $4,700 to $48. I think that's worth $250. We're going so deep now, it might be worth it just to go like this because I can catch boots almost instantly at a rapid fire rate. Uh, it's probably not as worth it, but it's still a pretty decent way of making money at this point. And I just wanted to try a few casts at random depths because I've been maxing out my casts all the way along. And I thought maybe there's some new fish at weird depths along the way. Because I feel like there's a lot more fish to find and I have only found like six different ones so far. Another walrus. We saved $7,500, so let's go down just a little more. There's gotta be some good stuff down this steep. We gotta be close to the bottom. Guess what we're finding at 95 meters? More walrus. You think if we're paying for these upgrades, we'd start to find better stuff at some point. And another walrus. We're not even finding no shells anymore. We found a shell at some point. It wasn't worth this much, but we at least found one. And whatever happened to that helmet we found? Okay, we're going to 100 meters, and apparently that's not the maximum. I assumed it was. 100 meters surely has to have something new. That's a nice even round number. Still more walruses that are also dead. I've had this idiot here fishing nonstop for a month and a half. He's made $10,000, but he hasn't caught anything more exciting than a walrus. So let's go 110. I don't want to miss anything along the way because I'm worried there's going to be important upgrades and stuff. And I have a way of missing these things. Deep sea jelly. You deep sea jealous? Not really. It's about to die. We're going from $10,500 uh, to more money. I don't know how much that's worth, but not a great deal. And a strange device. Is this part of a machine? I don't know, is it? So I feel like I can find parts for that probably. And that's why I didn't really want to skip depths because I feel like I might miss out on parts. And there's a cassette for the music I'm not listening to. Pretty sure I'm officially making more money off my baby farm than my fishing expedition. So let's try 120. I wasn't even watching what those upgrades are worth. I just know I still have a lot of money. So from 120, we get device part. It fits right on. What are we going to make? 120 meters down. But at least we're not catching walruses anymore. We're catching deep sea jellies. But let's go another five, ten meters down for almost one thousand dollars. That's gonna earn us a uh, vampiro toothus. Legends say it come from hell. Does that mean it's worth more money? Fourteen thousand two hundred to fourteen thousand three fifty. So I think two hundred fifty dollars. And I would be surprised. We're only like one hundred thirty meters down. Here's a strange hat, which we get to wear. Not sure if that actually has any effect or not. It very well might. And a hatchery tank. This device seems to be a hatchery. Oh, we get a fish farm. We don't really need to grow the fish though. We can just sell them as babies. So I think 
the hatchery is actually collecting some of these babies once in a while and they grow up into the bigger guppies so they're actually just reproducing themselves now because it's definitely spitting them out once in a while and I assume that's what's happening. There's another vampire or whatever. Still mostly deep sea jelly so let's go down another 10 meters for about another $1,000. 140 meters it's definitely take you a second to get that line back up but we're probably going to catch more of these and maybe something new. Well at least our happy idiot is making some money. Up to almost $20,000 so let's see if we can hit 150. That will hopefully come with some new parts or something interesting maybe even a better fish who knows there we go moray eel that's a moray so we're gonna try and figure out how much that's worth we're going from 18800 to 1819 i feel like the fish aren't necessarily getting more valuable which is odd or maybe they are and i'm just bad at math which very well could be the case 150 meters down by the way and still catching more of the things I don't really want to be catching anymore. Let's try 160. Really hope I'm not missing anything by skipping over 5 meters. But you know what? We'll figure that out later. 160 meters and a vampire toothless again. So let's go another 10 meters down. At some point where you gotta find something good. Money is no longer an issue. We just need to keep going deeper and deeper and deeper until we find whatever it is we're looking for. Especially considering how long it's taken to get all the way down there. I know it's not more than a few seconds but after you do this a million times you start to notice those few seconds. Come on big money. Well we got a moray eel and that's okay but still not good enough. 180 meters. And that's that's going to turn into another moray eel how exciting but this is also one of those rare times in the game where we're making money faster than we're spending it finally a new one there's a lantern fish which means we're getting deep enough so we're going to go from uh dollars to $24,600 i don't know we made some money let's go another 10 meters down still moray eels but at least we're not catching the jellyfish anymore okay final reel from 190 meters then we're going down to 200 which should hopefully have something fun but 100 i don't think did and 200's not the bottom, so we still have hope. And I am starting to wonder just how deep we can go. And an ice cube, which is interesting. Not sure what that's going to do. If anything, guess it doesn't really matter. My retirement is set thanks to my army of fish babies. Since we're only catching lanternfish, let's try 210. And it's starting to take a long time to get this line back up again. We caught a merm. Things are getting strange down there. Yeah, I can't wait to see what's deeper. Good news, whatever this is wasn't a one-off. So we're probably going to catch a lot of those. And I have to say I'm a little bit intrigued. So let's go another 10 meters down. 220 meters below the surface. Which got us another merm. And let me guess, another merm? Yep, down another uh, 10 meters we go for about $1,600. I don't know if we can afford that. We only have about $30,000 currently, but hopefully we find something new that's even more interesting than a merm. And we got the sun. At least it fetches a good price. It better. Uh, I don't know what that was worth, but it seemed like it was actually quite a bit. And there's an old locket with... That probably means something to someone. But not to me, I can barely read regular English. I'm barely even capable of pressing two keys repeatedly to make this work. But at least we're finding some interesting stuff. There's another old locket. Someone dropped a lot of those down the hole. I love how many of these guppies we have though. Look at all the babies flying into space for my profit. And the longer time goes on, the more of those we're gonna find. And another old locket, so let's go down to 240. Is it just me or did we actually pull the sun out of the sky on that one cast? Because it's not coming back up anymore. It's permanently night. And for this cast we got Arctic Turn. How did it get down so deep? I think we're casting back into the sky and that's how we caught this sun. Maybe eventually I'm going to catch my Self. But I don't really know what to expect anymore because we've kind of gone off the rails. Normally that's something that happens accidentally. It's nice when it's not my fault for once. Things just get weirder and weirder. Alright, well I'm sick of the arctic turns so 250 meters were maxed out. I'm pretty interested to see what we're gonna find at 200 and, uh, at question marks. Nothing seems to be biting. Is there nothing there? Do we have to wait a long time? Oh, Oh, if you go down a little further, you do actually kind of catch yourself. Uh, okay, well, say I don't want to... Well, I guess you don't have a choice now. All right, we're going to catch ourselves. What do we got? Thanks for playing. Okay, but I still have zero of 30 fish found. I have questions. We can't have any more upgrades. So what happens if we go to like 248 meters? Do we catch something new here? 249.1. This is pretty much as deep as you can go without catching yourself. And we got an arctic turn. And another old locket. Okay, so let's keep going down and down and down and down again until we hit the mysterious depth again. And then... Do we not catch anything that time? No, do we have to keep going down? Oh, okay, I get it now. So we go all the way to the bottom and break reality only to catch the worst prize of all. 
which is me. Today, we're gonna catch the biggest and rarest of fish. I don't care how many upgrades it takes. And luckily, I'm in a very touchy mood. I've had a lot of coffee. And I got a reward for catching 25 entire fish. And not sure what this garbage is floating past, but we're gonna go ahead and take that. That's probably important. So right now, every fish I touch gets in the boat for one whole dollar. Now that means obviously I would have to catch a lot of these little fish to get anywhere at all. Luckily for me, we can start to upgrade things. 100% increased fish value. Let's just do that for now and back to fishing while touching the box. There's a whole pile of fish. Look at all that money and a big one. Oh, I don't know what this is. Okay, I want it. Get in the boat. Get in the boat. Uh, we're not strong enough to get that fish. We will be one day though. Sorry, we will be two day. But for now, I'm getting $5 per little boring fish. I'm actually doing the ocean a favor by removing all the boring fish. Every fish I remove, the ocean gets a little bit more exciting. Okay, let's, uh, 25% surface fish per second. So we're gonna get more showing up for more money. Now, look at them all surfacing. Okay, hold on, look at that big pile. Oh, here's one. Oh, big green fish. I'll take that, and then I just want all that money. We have $2,500. We've maxed out the breadcrumbs. Let's max out our rod then. We can get a thousand times value for fish. We're getting $11 per fish. There's another big one. I only had to touch it once to put it in the boat. Uh, I need to go towards deeper water now, but I keep getting distracted because big fish keep showing up and this is actually really addictive. Anyways, I'm going to focus. It's $1,000 to go to deeper water. Where the fish are slightly bigger, $55 each, plus this big guy is still worth only 11 Okay, he's now the boring fish, but I still can't help but touch him when he shows up. Okay, so the little fish are still worth 11 These bigger fish are worth 55 And that box had a free pile of cash, $500. Not that that feels like a lot anymore, but I guess it's something. And my reward for hitting deeper water is three emeralds which i assume i spend on other upgrades entirely i'll take the box where's all the rare fish oh look at that pool down there we're gonna touch all of those that feels good and i just found like a floating three to four basic items i guess i have the emeralds i might as well this looks like fun there's a fishing rod and a slingshot and uh electrical wire okay so bird catcher it's time to oh we can grab the fish from the birds okay i'm not entirely sure what it means but we're gonna do that and then we're going back to fishing because that's all very confusing i'm not here to think i'm here to touch the fish and pull them out of the water and make myself rich so thanks to my slingshot i can now catch the birds and i'm using catch very loosely here because we're gonna slingshot them and they're gonna fall into the ocean and probably be eaten by fish that's something i can live with for five thousand dollars we can get a tier two fishing boat okay so then 50 percent faster idle fishing on the boat are we catching stuff without me doing anything we very well might be oh there's a bird sixteen hundred dollars for a seagull i need more seagulls to show up that's a lot of money and it does look like he's catching things idly you know every once in a while he's reeling in a 110 dollar fish but i'm here to try hard this calming fishing game and every time i catch a new fish i get a little bit of experience so i caught a seagull i've caught a green pike and i've caught a green fish how very creative. Anyways, our next upgrade is going to be better hooks plus one times max fishing size for idle fishing. So I guess he can reel in. Oh, look at all the seagulls. Give me those. Anyways, I think now his idle fishing is going to catch a lot bigger fish. Okay, I wasn't really paying attention, but we did just make $46,000. What, what is this? I don't know what I just did. Okay, we just spent a bunch of money, but I have $7,800. I think that's a quick upgrade button. So I don't really know. We just spent a lot of money on upgrades that are unknown at this point. And naturally, like any good fisherman, I have a wheel I can spin to hopefully uh, get whatever, which is going to be three times emeralds, I guess. And I know we spent that on something eventually. We also got one of these. There's $600. Uh, plus, I'm getting lots of emeralds because I happen to be completing all of the quests. I need to catch 200 fish. That doesn't seem that hard, considering there's just a lot of fish here, and I can just swing around catching them all we probably already caught 20. The next increase though is going to cost $200,000 so I've got a little bit of saving to do. I have 60,000 now. Uh, I keep accidentally pressing the upgrade button because it starts to glow and I wonder what it is so we just spent half our money on an upgrade that I don't know what it was. Luckily we do make a lot of money. Even these basic fish are worth $66 and there's a lot of them. Some of the bigger ones are worth $600, $300, a lot of money. Every once in a while that huge school of little fish comes by and gives me about $50,000. So we're up to 150 all of a sudden. Okay, you keep the change, okay? We are coming up on the $200,000 mark, which means we're going to get a bigger boat, which hopefully means a lot more everything. We're even going to take our $6,000 from that. Okay, tier three boat, what do we got? We have increased catch chance, increased fish value. So we're going to buy a few of these for now. That's going to help us make a little more money on everything. We can already see the difference. 540 for the medium-sized fish. And I assume for now I can just hit the quick upgrade button because it's going to buy those upgrades. They get very expensive quickly. That one already costs $160,000 thousand 
but for only 30,000 we can get 50% increased fish value which is a great investment because we catch a lot of fish including these giant schools of fish. That gave me 260,000. Okay the boss fish is back. Don't know if we're going to be able to do anything with him we just don't have the experience. So I'll just go ahead and uh, harass you for a minute and let you be on your way sir. Okay 50% increased fish value that's an easy choice. You had me at hello. So I'm just going to click on that basically until I can't. Now a tiny fish is worth $126 and medium fish is 630 a uh, big jumbo there is worth, I don't see what that was, seagulls are worth $10,000. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the next fishing spot is the silver pond for half a million. We've got a little bit of saving to do. Okay, we saved up about $200,000. I wanted to check on the next boat. It's $20 million. Uh, I'm also going to equip my other items now that I can finally afford them. This is 20% increased experience and this one's going to be 50% faster idle fishing which is good because that's just easy background money. And here's a big school of fish that's going to make me tons. And there's also perks we could be unlocking. So this one looks like coffee. I'll take that one. 20% income while away. Okay. This one would have been better. 100% increased fish value. Can I still have that? Can I trade? I picked the one that's absolutely of no use to me, of course. Oh, I can reset them for only 50 emeralds. I have four currently, so that's probably not going to happen. All oh, right, we're coming up on the $500,000 mark. So we're going deeper. Uh, apparently, I've uh, made some friends along the way i can apparently buy them for uh emeralds they can help me out a little bit i don't need their help how much are fish worth here three thousand three thousand six hundred one twenty six these bigger fish are three thousand dollars already now apparently i need to collect my experience which is probably okay because the next uh deeper water is 200 million dollars okay so we're basically prestiging already we go back to the first level but we get 113 better cash and epic fish catch rate whatever so now these little fish are 24 dollars to start and uh we're obviously going to be able to buy the upgrades very quickly i halfway accidentally made a new purchase which is going to get us things like the bow and arrow so we get those awesome stats and double lines probably isn't going to hurt to have and we've got a few more perk points to spend so 25% increased value from boat catches uh okay we're gonna go for that and also 100% increased fish value maybe a few levels of that if we can afford it so now big boys were 72 little fish are worth seven everything's worth 72 seagulls are worth a thousand okay obviously now we can increase the value of fish a lot because those upgrades are very cheap and we've saved up ten thousand dollars five thousand dollars for the next tier boat so yeah, we're just going to quick buy those upgrades to get back to where we were. We're already at $600 per little fish though. Okay, let's go right back to deeper water because it's only $1,000. So we'll just get a lot more value out of fish here. So the bigger size fish here are worth $3,000 each. So we'll be moving on to deeper water very quickly. I basically instantly got the $200,000 I needed to. Uh, oh, we got this guy again. I still think we're a long ways from getting him. We took off like 5% of his health. He's going to be worth a lot, but he's going to take a few minutes. While doing that, though, I made an extra $200,000, apparently, so that's okay. So let's get the better boat. And we're going to move on to deeper water very soon because it only costs $500,000. So we'll make that in no time. So these fish are now worth about $5,000 each deeper water time. Uh, If I was seeing that right, those are worth $20,000 each now for the bigger ones. That was like a shark or something. Yeah, so the uh, biggest uh like basic fish we can catch here is twenty thousand dollars each and that's before we upgrade all of these things so i'm just going to keep going like that and we get all those upgrades and more so that's now worth twenty eight thousand dollars so this is very satisfying we made over a million dollars for the first time and i think we get a reward now for doing 40 boat upgrades so let's just touch that and that'll get us there which gives us just emeralds which is kind of boring but look at all the money we make our value has gone up again so we're now catching up to thirty thousand dollars per fish so we can increase their value again for 732, then a million, then 1.3, then 1.7. Now what are they worth? 34,000. Which seems like an unreasonable amount of money for just a few fish in the ocean. And there's 20 million dollars. So let's see what kind of new upgrades we're going to get from a better boat. 10% chance for a better fish. Uh, that's actually a really good one. So we're going to buy a few levels of that. And then hopefully we'll only have good fish spawning. So that's a level 5. So we should get just lots of bigger fish for lots of value. I think I'm seeing... Yeah, we're look what we're catching. Those are worth half a million dollars each. I'm getting so many big fish now. Like I've already made 15 million dollars. It took me a long time to make that initially and we can still buy more upgrades. I just want more of this. This is way better. And there's a massive school of fish. So let's see if we can eat all that up. And there's another 8 million dollars already. So let's increase the fish value some more. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to start hitting the auto buy because we're making so much money. It'd be stupid not to do that because I don't have time to think. Bye, 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 bye. Lots of money spent, but we're going to earn ever more for every upgrade we get. At this point our passive income is so strong I hardly need to be touching anything. Like look that's millions of dollars.
dollars jumping into the boat, just like it is in real life. I also found this for 300% critical fish value. I'm not really sure what that means, but I assume that means every once in a while we're gonna get more valuable fish, and so far that seems to be working because some fish are worth almost a million dollars now. I did see one for a million. Oh, we got you again. Uh, we're still not going to catch you yet. Coming up to $200 million made by sitting in a little boat, that's definitely going to put me over the top because there is $250 million, so we're going to deeper water. This better be worth it because that was pretty expensive. Okay, the water is red here, but we have $5 million fish jumping into the boat just kind of for funsies it appears, so I'm not going to complain with that. $564,000 million fish. Uh, yeah, I look at the money. I've made $200 million basically in 10 seconds since I've been here, so we're going to be able to retire sooner than later. Uh, 400 million dollars to the next boat, which actually we basically, yeah, we can afford it suddenly because we're just making a stupid amount of money. New boat. Now we get plus 2% surface risk per second and 250% increased fish value. The next upgrade is 10 billion dollars though, so it's gonna be a minute. But then again, we are making a lot of money, so let's increase our fish value right here. That went from 850% to 1250, that's max level now. So that's gonna help, help our income just a little bit. Seagulls are worth $8 million each now. Uh, and we did just make another 330 million, so let's maybe keep going with those upgrades. Uh, let's take 250% increased fish value, so that added an extra 500% fish value. So they're constantly jumping in the boat for 7 to 10 million dollars. Uh, even the smaller fish that I can find are worth 135,000. So all I gotta do is just catch everything and we made a billion dollars. That's not really good enough for me. We're gonna get better bait so we get more fish and then more fish value. We'll just finish off this one because it's gonna annoy me forever. Seagulls are worth 11 million now. And catching all these big expensive valuable fish is getting me lots of experience so if and when I do prestige again we'll make even more money than ever before even though we're already a billionaire by being a single guy sitting in a small boat. I have painstakingly saved up another two billion dollars which I'm going to spend on fish sorting so that's going to give me an extra 250 percent fish value so now they're going in the boat for ever more money. I don't even know what they're at now it's a lot. I've spent some of my gems to unlock another crewmate so now we're gonna have better fish increased fish value and surface fish per second so that's certainly not gonna hurt and let's take one more of those because those are actually pretty good. There we go more fish value better fish. Is this how fishing works in real life? You have tens of millions of dollars jumping into your boat every second. We made two billion dollars again just sitting here waiting this is great. Okay so even with all these upgrades I think it might be time to prestige again because we need billions of dollars and we're making billions but not quick enough. But if we restart now we'll collect 71 fishing experience so we'll get a massive bonus. 62% better now every individual fish is $340 and that's going to go up very quickly. Uh, we can't do anything about them but there's $15,000 in seagulls of course there is okay so I just yeah now we're making this much per fish because I'm just clicking on this and it takes us to the levels quickly okay we've already made a hundred thousand dollars so we need to go to deeper water where the better fish go because that's only a thousand dollars was the next one 500,000? That shouldn't take long. I don't even know if I need to... Okay, we got another big boy coming in. Yeah, we can't catch those yet, but uh, we're going to go ahead and take $200,000 to upgrade the boat, and then we need to hit this a lot. Uh, we already have $500,000 we need for here, where we're going to get fish for $50,000 already. Uh, okay, we're already into the millions, so millions of dollars of fish I will take, because upgrades are getting expensive anyway, so just give me all of those, and then we're going to take some fish, and now they're going to be worth extra millions of dollars, which means we get a million dollars out of a box, and we've got about $20 million to spend on whatever that is. Now we'll get uh, even more money. Okay, there's a 20 million I need for a bigger boat. So now we get the extra value and stuff after I get that herd of fish. <laughs> School of fish. And we've already made $25 million back thanks to the new boat upgrades. I really want that big fish out of the bottom though. I don't know what it's going to take to catch him, but I want to see how much he's worth. I hate to see and everything in it. A couple more upgrades, just a few. That should be more money. So now they're jumping into the boat for a few million already. Speaking of the big stupid fish, he's back, but we can still do very little to him. But we're doing more than we did before, actually. We can take him down to like 85% health. Okay, I've got the $200 million I need to, I think, move to the next area. So we're back to the red water already. Uh, now we're going to catch the valuable fish again for... Well, I think I saw one for $13 million, which probably means we can buy some more of these, but for $400 million, I need those upgrades. So let's just scoop up $50 million worth of fish. That was easy. Here's my $400 million boat. Now we get huge extra value out of fish. Uh, we just had a big school swim buy, so we made a billion basically instantly, so we're just going to start buying those. 
Now the fish are more valuable again and more valuable again. Now those billions are adding up quite a bit faster and we've still got some upgrades to do. Not on those guys though they are pretty helpful. The big upgrade I want is two billion dollars and that's that one 250% increased fish value because even now I'm catching some into the tens of millions of dollars fairly routinely so that's obviously going to add up quickly. There's another half a uh, half a billion dollars. It's a very big moment. We're about to spend 10 billion dollars on a boat. So that's going to get me 10% faster idle fishing, 50% increased value per level of this, and then plus 10 more fish in schools, which is actually huge because those schools are mega valuable. Okay, so we saved up a few billion dollars, so let's buy a few levels of that, and we're out of upgrades we can afford already, but the, uh, the value speaks for itself. Uh, seagulls are worth 30 million dollars now. I don't really remember what they were before, but I know it wasn't $30 million. There's another $2 billion plus 2% surface fish. You know that's a good one because the next one costs $8 billion. I think that basically means an extra 2% passive income, which is pretty high right now. Pretty quickly saved up another $7 billion, so we're going to get 250% increased fish value and then bigger schools. Now a lot of these regular fish are worth $30 million, $20 million. It's not uncommon at all. Finally, after another nice school of fish, we've saved up $30 billion plus an extra two hundred five and two hundred. dollars 5 million. That means we can go deeper, 30 billion dollars deep. Which means we get new experience and new fish and a bunch of new stuff. Ooh, look at that school of fish. I need to take that right away because there's an extra 8 billion dollars. I'm seeing fish value here of up to 75 million and I can't even imagine what the seagulls are worth. A box here is worth 1 billion. So this seems like a good spot. We're catching lots of value in fish. Uh, in fact, we very quickly already made a 26 billion back plus that. So let's buy some more of these upgrades like fish fish sorting there's a 250% increase there's a 500% increase I definitely just saw a fish caught for I think 100 yeah 116 million so all it would take is 10 of those to get a billion dollars which we have several of uh so while we're at it I might as well start getting some of these upgrades because I can buy one of those a seagull is worth 200 million dollars and there we go there's another plus 10 fish in schools which trust me those schools add up to a lot of value I couldn't help myself it offered me a rare box so I want to see what that is uh, I assume it's going to be lots of different colored items. I think the color corresponds with their rarity, so the darker the color, the better. I didn't mean to do all of this, though. That's a lot of points to spend. But things like this probably do a lot of good stuff. Goldfish multiplier, grab value, we don't have any of that stuff yet. But something in the upgrades we just did also helped us. I don't even know what we did, but we've suddenly got $127 billion, and we're catching billion-dollar fish. There's a $2 billion fish. So we might want to go ahead and buy some more of these upgrades, like extra fish value in a big way then better bait and then this one and then that one the bigger boat is still 200 billion dollars which actually won't take that long anymore here's a school of fish it's going to be worth tons of money yeah that put us over 200 billion by itself seagulls are worth five billion dollars now but let's get a bigger boat okay here we have some cool options again like 100 percent income from all sources and 20 percent chance of better fish last time we did one of those it was an exponential jump up in fish value all it costs is 100 billion dollars which is worth it and then we'll maybe take some more of the other ones too. We're just going to click the upgrades again because we're making, there's a school of fish, which is strange to find so soon to another one. There's about $200 billion from a school of fish. So 100% income from all sources times two and bigger schools of fish because the schools are really paying out. I guess while we're at it, I might as well buy some of these things. But now I'm just going to spend a bunch of money upgrading fish value. And uh, I don't really care about the rest of the points, to be honest. I just want to not have to think about what to spend these on. That one's maxed. Uh, big fish showed up. I still don't think we've got anything equipped to uh, do extra damage to him uh nope he's perfectly fine anyways after spending our upgrade points we're now making hundreds of millions of dollars per fish at the minimum and up to 12 billion dollar per fish which put us up to 1.7 trillion dollars in value so let's get 20 percent chance of better fish and whatever these ones are until we run out of upgrades oh there's a school of fish i missed half of it but we did just make 1.5 trillion dollars from it so i'm not going to complain and even better yet now that we have two trillion dollars we're going to deeper water Water, the big C. I imagine the fish here are going to be of absolutely ridiculous value because they can't be anything less. I think I just saw something for 105 billion by itself. Oh, here's a school of fish. So, wow, that's a pretty good one. That's uh, about 50 trillion dollars. And I didn't even get the whole school. 50 trillion dollars. I don't even want the big shark anymore. Get out of here. You're useless. You're dead to me. We actually got halfway to the next level already, which is murky waters for 100 trillion. So we might just save up for that because it's not going to take that long to get there. Okay, there's another school of fish that was very hard to see along the edge. So we're going to do our best to take all of them. That'll put us over the 100 trillion we need to go to the next area. Okay, we're just straight up going to murky waters, whatever this place is. We've got uh, 15 trillion dollars to our name. We're catching things for billions of dollars. 175 billion. There was 500 
200 billion so two of those makes a trillion dollars and we haven't even caught a school of fish here but look at all this value hundreds of billions of dollars oh there is a school uh yeah there's lots of schools showing up probably some of my stupid bonuses that i bought but there we go 200 trillion dollars to spend on a better boat i don't really know what there's a lot of extra money per second. I want a better chance of better fish. We can afford a lot of those upgrades because we're rich. And then we'll do this one. And then we'll do some of that one. Now it should be largely high value fish. And I think, yeah, I saw one for $4 trillion by itself. A $4 trillion fish. Maybe I ended up going a bit far with some of those upgrades too early. It felt like it was just progress was getting a little slow. But now it feels almost too fast. Okay, the next boat is $900 trillion. We've saved up a ninth of that so far. So I think what we're going to do is prestige right now. Because we're going to get 364 fishing experience for a 2300% bonus. I hope I don't regret that. 198% better. So we're going to be making 198% more money than we just were. That was $100,000 for a little fish. Oh, and we might have caught one of you. I guess we just have the power of that. We have $50 million. So, okay, we caught whatever that was. There's another 187,000. I don't, I don't know what to do with upgrades. We're just going to buy everything, I guess. Okay, better yet, we're going to the deeper waters first. We're going to go way into deeper waters until we can't anymore. We've got $350 million. Wait, can I get this one? Can I? Oh, I don't think I'm going to be quick enough, but it's close. Nope, it's not that close. Okay, good day, sir. On your way. Okay, but we just saved up two and a half billion dollars, and I'm not even catching fish right now. Thirty billion dollars for the next one. Well, all we need is a few upgrades for that, and I can afford those. We're making money faster than I can spend it. We're up to thirty billion suddenly. Can I get him? Nope, not enough damage yet. Just gonna keep clicking. Oh, we're finally starting to use up our money again. Okay, we've got uh, you know fifteen billion, twenty-five, thirty billion dollars again, so we could probably go to deeper water, and that means we can also afford some upgrades again, which means we can make more money for fish. Uh, we're getting up to fifty billion per fish currently. That's gonna go up quickly. It's a considerable two trillion dollars for the next level. Not gonna catch him, but we've made the two trillion we need, so we're just gonna leave him right there. We don't want him anymore. And now we're back to this spot. The sequels are worth $324 billion currently. And that's a number that's going to go up quickly. And I think I'm back to my nice large boat. It seems pretty luxurious. The next boat's going to be $900 trillion. So we're roughly where we just left off. But it took us like 10 seconds to get here this time. So it's not hard to save up some money. And we still got lots of upgrades we can buy. So we're still in good shape. And I'm officially a $100 trillionaire, Which means we can go to deeper water again. So I suspect this is where the value is going to start to shine again a little more. I caught a trillion dollar fish there for sure. There's probably somewhere several trillion. And if there's not yet, there will be soon. Okay, here's a few upgrades. A seagull's worth a trillion dollars. Uh, there's a few more upgrades. So that's just going to mean more value. Didn't mean to open that. It's going to be five quadrillion to go there. Okay, here's a school of fish. And that put us well into the quadrillions of dollars because schools of fish are ridiculously good. Two quadrillion dollars, which is enough to buy a tier nine boat, which means we're going to get a thousand percent increased fish value. Yes, please give me a few of those so now the fish are constantly jumping in for several trillion dollars each so that's pretty good for my income level so i'm just going to go back to auto buying upgrades which is going to help everything okay i saw a 29 trillion dollar fish so money is going to be a little bit easier again for a couple minutes uh there's a school of fish that kind of started getting away because i wasn't paying enough attention but we still got two and a half quadrillion dollars out of that and there's a really big fish he'd probably be worth like a quadrillion trillion zillion dollars but i'm not going to be able to catch him i'm going to spend a few dollars uh, a few gems unlocking some more random crew because i think they simply get added to everything going on so why wouldn't i i mean i've kind of got the uh, emeralds for it i really didn't mean to buy that many but what it's helping me now we needed the help and look how many idiots i have on my little boat now there's like 16 of them on here i did manage to spend all of my emeralds i'm not sure what i spent them on but i assume we're going to get more value here's a nice school of fish we're definitely going to eat all of them up in a hurry because that put us up to seven quadrillion dollars so let's go to the new fishing area and do we have enough to buy the new boat still 20 quadrillion dollars for the new boat that sounds worse than it is the fish here are pretty valuable i just saw one for 12 so there's one for 26 trillion dollars that adds up pretty quickly plus i can still get a thousand percent increased fish value times quite a lot because we're rich uh look at the money going up now it's oh that was a school of fish that's why there's a big fish but you know we're touching the hundred trillion dollars per fish mark so quadrillions are going by rather quickly and we can still buy more fish value which is stupid because the fish are already pretty valuable then I'm just going to auto buy for a bit because those are going to help anyway, I'm pretty sure. The amount of money we're making off very simple fish right now is pretty ridiculous. There is trillions and trillions and trillions of dollars going into my boat every second. And here's a school of fish I'm going to work very hard to consume because that's just going to be so much money that it's a joke. That put me over 20 quadrillion, which means I get a bigger boat. 
A 20 quadrillion dollar boat. Seagulls are worth trillions. I kind of missed the number. But we're on like a nice yacht now. So we get 100% income and 10% chance for better fish. Well, I think now that I've made myself a quadrillionaire, we're going to leave it here and let it run in the background. I'm also going to get this school of fish, but we did pretty good considering we're a simple fisherman. Today, instead of trying to catch the fish with bait, we're just straight up going to spear them. This is kind of just a much more efficient way of catching the fish. And if we catch enough of them in a row, we get extra points for combos, which means we get to catch even more fish. Because these are pretty basic fish for now, and this is a pretty basic harpoon. I can only get really one at a time, and I have limited range. I can't even stab the big lime one. Hi, how are you? And I'm already out of oxygen. I have a finite amount. It runs out, especially as I use my harpoon. But I did make $204 for my trouble. And then because I'm here, they're going to give me a bonus of 2000 Tomorrow, I get this dog, but I'd rather just have the money. The harpoon we're currently using has very little penetration, so I don't like that. We're going to spend 1000 to upgrade it just a little bit, and then we're also going to upgrade our air tank once, twice, just so we can stay down there a little longer. Because one thing I notice is that the longer I'm down here, the more fish start to appear. Still not sure if we can grab the lime ones, but we may be able to grab multiple fish at once now. The problem is I am running out of oxygen as long as I'm down here, so I just really should be stabbing anything at all. I do also have these handy net upgrades, so when I want to fire those out, I can catch a whole bunch of fish at once. A very big fish has gone by, but of course I can't harpoon it yet, so it's just teasing me basically. And there's a bunch of lime fish that I also can't get. Maybe I can have that fish though, it looks small. Come here, let me stab you. We need more penetration. Well, this has been pretty much a disaster so far. But that's okay, because we made $365 by catching 15 whole fish. I'm not even going to try to buy upgrades with that. I'm just going to go stab more fish. Maximum penetration. This time I'm going to be a little more cautious and try and get a combo of fish going. Because if you get a combo, you get a multiplier. And I missed after like 5 whole fish. So I'm just going to focus on whatever happens to be closest and looks the most valuable, like the Nemo fish. And I apparently still haven't speared a jellyfish yet, but they are kind of small and hard to hit. Uh, eventually, there we go. Oh, okay, they just shock you anyway. And they're not even worth as much as a clownfish, but now I do know what they are. And this cat is pointing to what he wants, which is four icy fish for $480. Which is going to be good because we're not making money quick enough. It's going to cost $1,430 to get more air. So again, we're mostly just going to go for the combo, and the quest fish is clearly here. Uh, at least I think it is. It's a little hard to tell at this point. To be fair to the game, I do kind of need this kind of guidance normally, or I don't really pay attention. The next one I stab will be a 10 fish combo. Actually, I might already be there. So there's an 11 fish combo. But even then, I've been doing very good. My oxygen is already running out. So we're going to take a clownfish and be on our way. So after all of that, we got $281. We now have a total of $979. Plus $480 from our cat. But that's just enough to give me a little bit more oxygen. So we're going from 133 liters to 144. So that's like a 10% increase. Once I start making a little more money, we can buy electric bombs, bait, and large fish nets to help me make even more money. I'm going to try a different approach this time though. Oxygen goes down quicker as I use my spear gun. So if I sit and wait, we'll get more valuable fish. Okay, we hit 40% and we're starting to find some of the new ones. And we can actually penetrate them, so this is actually working out pretty well. As long as I can actually hit the damn fish. They're a little bit quicker, but I'm sure they're a lot more valuable. So we're going to try and focus on only... Okay, we can't get those ones, but we can get the mean green ones. And we're going to try very hard to do that. Because only three of them was worth 146, so we're onto something with our strategy. I just realized I can catch the big green fish, I just need to spear them twice. And I'm okay with multiple stabbings. In fact, I prefer it that way. The problem is they don't always wander super close and they're very slow about making their way over. Can't hit it there, got it once, and... Oh, I actually stabbed it once there. They're usually worth quite a bit of money. This one should be worth a little bit more because I got a lot more valuable fish out of the deal. 560! Because I got 278 for one of the really big limes. There's also a light bulb swimming around that I've never seen before, so that's probably pretty rare, so I'm gonna want to stab it. As soon as it wants to come close enough to get stabbed. I feel like my harpoon aims high and I scared it away. Will it come back? That's golden, whatever that is. We're getting some cool fish showing up now. Got that one, and that seems to have turned everything into money. That was $3,000. I need to remember also that I can rapid fire my harpoon. I don't really need to wait. My harpoon seems to aim just a little bit higher than where I'm actually cursoring onto. Okay, so the gold fish was worth 3000 by itself, 8 of the money fish were 1600 and the boring fish were boring fish. So we could upgrade our harpoon, or we could buy a new one, like the triple harpoon. It fires three harpoons at once, but it's got short range and high oxygen cost. Given that it's mostly boring fish that show up right away, I don't want to waste a lot of oxygen, so we're going to upgrade uh, the pink harpoon two times. 
because now we have moderate amounts of penetration, more rate of fire, speed, and rope length. So this is day eight and it said rough ocean. I'm not really sure what that means, but hopefully we'll see some new stuff. I guess I might as well test out my new spear gun for now. It seems to go a little bit quicker and I'm not sure what kind of length we get on it, but it's definitely more. I guess we could try putting some bait out uh, as soon as there's more fish on the screen to actually make it worth my while. Let's just kind of go like that just to see how this works. So they're all going to come in to swarm that and then we could uh, use the net to get a whole bunch of them at once. That was only $167. But the idea is pretty solid. I'm trying to stab. There we go. Got him. Took a few stabs for whatever reason, but I got him. Now we're just going to go in a stabbing fest because there's all sorts of more valuable fish on the screen. Actually, we should probably just net like everything, including the new jellyfish, because that was $252 by itself. Probably shouldn't spear them though. But in total, that was $692 for the variety of idiots we caught. And this cat now wants six quattros. And that is just the kind of thing I would love to waste my time doing. Okay, we're on to wave three now. We're not seeing a lot of valuable fish yet, so we're going to be patient. And now we're starting to see some of the good stuff. So let's throw some of the bait out there. So hopefully we get some to swarm. Then we're going to catch four of them at once. And that's a new fish. It is very quick though. They go in bursts, so you got to get them at the end of their burst. Uh, you know what? We're going to use another bit of bait and another net because this is going to be a lot of valuable stuff. Whoops. Net out and got him. So our value for that little mess was 238 for those guys, 52 for one of those, 843 total. Plus a bonus from this cat, which puts me up to 3600, of which we're going to spend 2300 on an air tank, which should give us another almost 10%. And that's going to help us get into some of the further waves. I'm not even going to worry about the first two. Uh, unless I see a big limey fish, then I'm definitely going to stab it. And more of the blue fish are showing up earlier on. So if I can get a hold of them, I certainly will. Just speared another new fish and uh, managed to do it before anything ate it. Going to throw a little bit of bait out there because we're running out of time. Hopefully more fish come in to grab that, but we'll take what we can get, including the big limey fish. Didn't get the salmon thing. Would like to get a salmon thing. Can we get one of those? Everyone in the middle. There's a puffer fish. Oh, and a big lime too. All the good fish are showing up just at the end where I can't quite get them. But that was worth 878 because we're getting quite an assortment of fish. So on this day, I'm again going to be patient and wait till the end before I start shooting my harpoon. Although I haven't tried one of these electric mines yet. I wonder what they do. Well, that actually makes a lot of sense. Well, since you're stuck there, we're going to stab you. And I just realized that actually gave me some oxygen back when I caught the big fish. I never really considered the fact that, well, thanks for that, that catching some of the fish could actually give me oxygen back. So those ones give you air. Ooh, look at the size of that thing. Maybe a sea mine will help? We electrocute everything and then get the- oh, we got some turtles too. I bet those are delicious. At least I think they were turtles and we're getting all sorts of purple fish and stuff now too. All right, get some bait out in the water, then we're going to collect a whole bunch of everything. Oh, that's a really big fish. I bet that's worth something. So many new things to stab, so little time. Oh, hopefully I reeled that in first. I reeled it in after that countdown. I think he was worth 314. Whatever the case, we're starting to make some money. 1,802 total for that. Less an extra 900 coins if I want to sell out, which I'm gonna. So that excitingly means more oxygen for another probably 10%. Ish boost. So now I can be down here even longer and find even rarer fish. So currently I can start wave four at about 50% oxygen. I really want to stab the air fish though. Got him. So we're going to get a little boost from that. That actually gives me a big boost in oxygen. Then I probably should at some point start paying attention to what fish really are worth the most. I know these ones are and there's another oxygen fish we're going to try and get. So let's bait the water again. That's going to lure in all the stupid fish. And then we're going to net all the stupid fish just like that. There's another oxygen fish. Back up to 54%. And that's a new fish. I, how many times do I have to penetrate it? Three times. And more new fish. Uh, I'm just going to let my harpoon go because I need to start reeling in some of these things. The bait is out in the water. The big fish don't seem to like the bait very much though. So let's just stab it until we get somewhere. Kind of electrocuted myself, so that's not exactly optimal. And we're out of air. So the big ugly yellow one was worth 500 all by itself, which is probably the most valuable of anything I can catch right now. But I'm going to do something that's also really smart and buy a triple harpoon shotgun type right now, just to try something different. And our cat wants three tangs. It'll give me $1,440. And I'll do anything for money, so this is an easy choice. But since my harpoon does use a lot of oxygen, I got to be very selective about how often I fire it. Do I try and stab the oxygen fish? I don't really have the range for that right now. That's not good. Do I get extra for lime fish? I'm wasting so much oxygen now. I literally just said I wasn't going to do this and here I am doing it. It does fire a lot out. So if we get oxygen fish, it's worth it. 
Okay, since these guys did the quest, I can go like this because I don't think bait and nets uh, cost me anything. They just make me a whole bunch of money when I do that. The wave six just started and look at that thing. I have no idea what that is, but I want it and everything else in there. Oh, hello. Well, you know what? Oh, I didn't want to get stabbed. But I did make $1,600 because I caught the heartfish and a whole bunch of other things, including two of those. And I already finished the cat quest, so that's an easy $1,400. Plus, I usually get some uh, stuff in the mail, which I'm sure is great, but I don't read it. This shotgun harpoon is kind of fun, but at the same time, I think it uses too much oxygen. I'm too trigger happy. I need one more like this. So I'm going to go back to using this. But don't worry, we'll buy another new one soon. Large smack grouping. What's a smack? Still haven't caught one of those, and I'm very tempted to stab it right now. Hmm, too late. I was going to. But there's an oxygen fish, so you get down here. That puts him at 82%. We just started wave 5. I still have 50% oxygen, so some good things should start to appear. There's another air fish at the top, and I really need to try and get that. It's worth more than the other fish right now if it keeps me alive longer. But it's going to make things difficult, so we're going to try and lure it with some bait. And that's going to work pretty nicely, because we'll also make some money getting all that. Oh, we didn't get the oxygen fish. Now we did. So we go from 20% to 44 and we need a little purple thing. So let's throw some bait out there, and hopefully the purple things like those. And we even grabbed a red one out of that mix. This is probably very good for the ecosystem. There's a few new fish still. There's so many things to stab in so little time. The, that stupid other fish ate right off my hook, but I'm kind of getting used to that feeling. Give me you at least. Okay, we're going to have to take care of these before getting other fish. I get it now. For that little mess, 1877 And that puts me up to $6,943. Which is almost enough for a sniper harpoon. Which is probably better, but doesn't look as exciting as a cannon harpoon. But we'll get there. And apparently we have a dream we can go to. Okay, we're just supposed to kind of bounce around and catch whatever we can catch here. I'm sure these are going to be valuable. I'm not really sure how this works. So you know, I'm going to be really lazy and just throw some bait out there and then use the net. Because that usually works pretty good for me. I see, we maneuver ourselves with our own harpoon. So it kind of has force to guide us around. But let's draw in more fish with the bait and then grab a whole bunch here. That's definitely earning us a lot of money, and we probably get oxygen if we run into it. Very slowly making our way to the oxygen bubbles. Kind of wish I brought more everything, because this is a lot of money. I'm having double stabbing things because it's very uncontrollable, and my harpoon is very loose to aim. Got a bowling ball, though. For fishing in space, we earn $3,811, which is more than I thought I would ever earn for fishing in space. So let's unlock our sniper harpoon for only 7000 We can even give it its first upgrade. Which gave it a little more of everything good. And now we wait. Okay, there's our first air fish. And we can actually lock right onto them now with the sniper harpoon. We use a lot of oxygen, but we can lock on, which is very helpful. Gonna need more penetration, because we can't really hit them super far out. But we'll definitely take you. I do like this harpoon though. Really takes the effort out of it, and I'm very lazy. Just very patiently waiting for more and more fish to show up. So far, nothing new of interest, but it usually waits till the very end. So I'm going to throw a little bit of bait out there, see what bites, and we're just going to take that for now. Because beggars can't be choosers. Would love to get that airfish up top, but I'm not going to have time now. Still earned $927 on a pretty boring run. And the cat now wants five blowfish for $2,400. Apparently today we have a crowded ocean, which is good because I watched an ad, so I'll come armed with five nets today. We're at wave 5 and we're seeing a lot of annoying fish, so I'm just going to send a mine out to hopefully just kind of kill them. I don't even want them, I just want them to die. And also there's an oxygen fish out there that I really want, so we're going to try and move everything out of the way so we can stab him. That put me back up to about 40% at least, and we're going to try and get the rest of the blowfish. Might as well use all this bait since we brought it all in. Because we're going to make a lot of money just off the herds of fish, so I'm not even going to have time to use it. I... Kind of hit continue, so we're just going to keep going with this for a second. And that's okay by me, because we've got all these things to use up still, like this net. Once they're out of the way, we can get more air. This is the first time we've been into wave 9, as far as I know. So that's going to have some new and hopefully more valuable fish. We're going to lure everyone in, especially those little green annoying fish, because they eat all my good fish. And with that, my quest is at least done. I haven't really seen anything new, so what we're going to do is throw some bait out, and then we're going to throw a bomb out. Just, you know, to electrocute fish. No reason in particular. And that bunch of beautiful fish was worth $3,137. Plus a mysterious $1,600 extra. Plus the $2,400 I got for the blowfish, so $9,000 to spend. 
6,000 of which is going into our harpoon to make it even better. More penetration. So let's see if we can get a clear shot at dummy here to test our new spear gun upgrade. And that was not what I was aiming at. Got him. One hit though for oxygen is pretty good. Gonna throw out a sea mine there to hopefully get a clear shot at the oxygen fish and I got him. Definitely needed that because that put us back to 50%. And basically, I just wait because I'm gonna throw out some bait pretty soon to try and catch some valuables. Those fish that keep eating my stuff are getting really annoying. Kind of forgot the amount of uh, oxygen this spear gun uses, so I need to use it kind of sparingly. $2,500 for all of those. And I actually do make a lot of money off the annoying fish, so I should be working harder to remove them. $8,000 means an even better air tank, so we're going to go from 167 liters to 178. And I just realized a cannon harpoon has lots of penetration. So we're going to need 20 grand for that if someone wants to pay out. Got my first oxygen fish at wave 4, so that's going to put us back up to 80%. And we've already got a goldfish wandering and we don't normally see them this early on. There's another oxygen fish we're hopefully going to reel in before the other fish notice. And there's another big goldfish over there. So I'm going to see if I can lure in some of these because there's actually quite a few valuable fish. It more or less just disappeared, but we'll take all that and then the limey. There's another air fish if we can get to him, but he's a long ways up there. Come on. Oh, I'm going to run out of air again. Well, I tried. I agreed to watch an ad for more. I made a deal with the devil again because you get so into this, you just want more and more fish. I can't help it. We need the bigger harpoon for these things. I cannot... Yeah. Only $1,700 for that. So it's going to take a minute to get the 20000 we need. After like 80 stabs, we finally caught one of the big blue ones. And I put a lot of resources into doing that because I was determined. And yeah, we're going to sacrifice this because I'm way too committed to give up now. And I've still got a whole bunch of bombs and stuff to spend to get rid of the annoying fish. So we're going to try and do that once we get both green ones kind of in the middle. And then we'll just go ahead and net whatever's out there. Anyways, Big Blue was worth 1650 by himself. We made 4500 on this individual run. Plus 2300 for this. So after grinding up a few dollars, we're up to 21000 Which is enough for Mega Penetration. The upgrades for this start at $4,400. And that's a massive oxygen cost. Well, it definitely looks like a bigger cannon. And here's the first chance to fire it at the big oxygen fish. And we definitely speared it all at once, so that was pretty easy. Definitely has good penetration at very far out. And I'm seeing an valuable fish that I'm going to toss some uh, food out. Whoops, didn't mean to fire that out. Again, didn't mean to fire this. Wanted the net. Whenever you're ready, there it is. But speaking of these fish, yeah, we can one-shot these now, which is nice. We can even get a few fish. Ooh, what about the big jellyfish? Right, they still electrocute us, but I think I penetrated it enough. Yeah, we definitely brought that in with us, so let's uh, throw some more bait out there. Then properly this time, get the net out, take all of that, and then penetrate everything out there. I do like the fact we can one-shot a lot of these fish. That makes it a lot easier for me, and it's actually more efficient use of oxygen. And we're so close to being done and being able to do the deeper side. So I'm not really sure what I still have to catch, but I'm going to penetrate it good when I find it. And look who decided to show up nice and early. We still can't one-shot him, or two-shot. Or three shot. Do we need to electrocute him? I don't really get how to get him. I'm also for now just going to bait and do that. Maybe he has to be close still, even with this big cannon. That's pretty close. Got him. Don't know why that takes so many shots. There's probably a bit of a method to it, but I'm stupid. Also wasted a ton of oxygen getting that one fish. Apparently I have a mission to grab those. There's another big blue idiot. I don't think I'm going to have time to grab him though, so we're going to focus on what we can grab. Which is pretty much everything else. Despite my failures, we still made $4,200 plus $2,000. This cannon harpoon still isn't doing it for me, so we're going to upgrade it. $4,400 to get more penetration. Also because we're going back into dreamland. And since I'm armed with my new harpoon, we should do better here than we did before. Especially considering we know how to get more oxygen this time, and just a little bit better how to play. So we're going to use that, and then we're going to catch all of that, and that's a whole bunch of new stuff, and $1,600. Then I'm going to head for those oxygen bubbles as quick as I can, because those are two big ones. That put me back up to 100%. And we're still so early in the waves, but we're just going to go ahead and take what we can get while we can. I'm mostly just trying to be patient and wait for something new or valuable looking. While also chasing oxygen bubbles whenever I can. There's the first new fish. And it's a tough one, even with my super penetration, I couldn't get it yet. But we will take one of those guys as soon as my harpoon wants to aim where I'm aiming it. There we go, got him. Ooh, this is also new. Would you like to be penetrated? Uh, I'm a little squirrely with my aim. But don't worry, with enough tries, I will get it where I want it. That was a very good shot right in the face, and I think I got it that time. It's also very easy to get stuck on the edges. 
and the bubbles tend to be not in the edges so I need to move myself back into the middle. And another new one. The new ones are always very tough. They gotta be very close and I gotta stab them usually multiple times even with my massive penetration. And we're getting multiple new things because we're into wave 6 now. And there's a, another new thing that looks kind of like spaghetti. We're gonna get the spaghetti fish hopefully. And there's a unicorn fish. Ooh, look at that thing. I don't know what that is but I want it. Come here. I must penetrate you. Oh, I'm gonna run out of air. And that's not where I'm aiming. Okay, space doesn't work that great. Come on, I sacrificed watching an ad. Please just aim where I'm aiming you. Seven grand for space. Even with my new slightly upgraded penetration, the bluefish are very resistant. And since I've saved up $20,000 again, we can actually buy ourselves a better boat. Which means we can go to Ocean Cave. And find all sorts of new things to penetrate. Look at the oxygen levels drop though. It's dropping like a rock. I gotta watch that one. Wave 2 has started and I'm actually going to try and catch a bunch of these just so I can get something out of this deal. And there we go, we're getting some new stuff. 293 entire dollars. I'm going to need more air. But I'm pretty sure this is also the new air fish. Oh, they're also very resistant. Oh, this isn't a good start. Okay, we're going to stab. There we go, hopefully the air goes up. And nope, it's just a bit of a valuable fish. Okay, well let's throw some bait out there and make some money while we can. And we have crabs now. Ooh, this much penetration simply leads to crabs. That's an oxygen fish for sure but we didn't get it. We spent $20,000 and got massive penetration to make $1,200 back. Well, I guess there's always next time.